Fly a Fair Nation. Fly a Fair Nation. Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. This episode is produced by Fly a Fair Nation and recorded at the Fan Production House. Sugar. Yeah, yeah. Hi, hello. Yeah. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are back. Long awaited uh, new episode. Mm. No wonder what you plug a stone me for that one, yeah. Long but time still. Yeah, Long time. yeah. It's been a few months. I don't. I don't know. The last break was longer than this. Because I think it's been about two months since I put out a new one. But no, all right. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, um, so it's the first episode of the year. So, you know, I want to talk about basically the same genre of what everyone's talking about. Year recap, all that stuff. If you want to go into the whole decade recap, we can do that too. But I want to talk about 2019 basically in a nutshell. No, you don't want to talk about 10 don't years? don't have to go to nobody decade. I feel like nobody. we met no, 10 no, years no. ago. About, yes. Yes, 10 years ago. It's about yeah, it's this about year would be 10 years. years. Yeah, My graciousness, look at that. Cute. All time fly when you have fun. Cute. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. them things. So how was your 2019? Yo. Um, hmm? um, <laughs> <laughs> it just done enough? It was up, you know? It was a lot, a lot of lessons and shit. But it was... I feel like there were a lot of people that said that 2019 sucked for them. A little bit of... Yeah, it was up and down. I feel like I feel like there were like great, great moments, and then there were moments that were like, shit. Yeah. A lot but of learning. Facts. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, if you don't learn nothing, you can't grow. So that part. Yeah. What all about you? Things there. Um, I did a lot of bucket like bucket list. Oh, Jesus Christ, <laughs> can't even talk. Bucket okay. list. Yeah. yeah, bucket list things. I checked off quite a few things off my bucket list in 2019. Mm-hmm. Um, that I didn't plan to check off. It's just you know. Shit happened, and yeah, and I was like, oh, this is what we're doing. Let's do it. So that was good. Mm -hmm. Also, a lot of lessons learned as well. Well, There were a lot of downhill traveling and, you know, picking back up and dusting off. Shit, I almost (laughs) didn't make it. God damn. I made it, though. I'm here, though. Listen, we So how you feel about 2020? You know, it's a year of promise. Yo, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> no, no, in real life, how you feel about 2020? I no. mean, so far the year starts off all right. I, I feel like, I feel motivated mm-hmm. this year. I feel like I actually want to do things. Is that because it's 2020 or it's the top of the year? No, it's Because a even, lot of people gain motivation No, 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 like, no, 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 Fresh then. page. No, like, sir, no, sir, no, I no, mean, I'm not one of those people that do resolutions and okay. things like that. Right. Like, if I make a resolution, actually, my resolution for the last God knows how long has been the same thing, and that is to make more money than I did the year before. And every year I achieve said goal. I don't set up unrealistic. S- no, I don't set myself up for failure. So I mean, I have like one resolution that's like it's good. It's between me and someone. So mm-hmm. you get what I'm saying. And then like some other shit. Do you feel like you'll be able to uphold said resolution? <laughs> yeah, I could do it. Okay. Is it a challenge? It's not. No, it's it's okay. It's okay. something that like I'm willing like. To, you okay. know what I'm saying. Okay. So, yeah. I feel like a lot of people do resolutions as things that like they haven't had the courage to do, and they try to like challenge themselves to do it. Like, I really hate the whole New Year, New Me. I'm gonna lose weight. Well, my thing is, after how many years does it stop being a resolution <laughs> and turn into something else? Because. If you like every year, I hope I make more money. 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 Okay, so it's like the fifth year we with the same resolution, or is it called something? Is it, <laughs> is it called a promise at this point? Goals. Okay. All right. I'm goals. just saying. I'm, I am th- achieving. Mm. I'm actually meeting these goals, though. Some people. This is said, what I'm saying, but I'm saying someone who is not, but uh, it's like the same one every year. Not a little, like not a different kind, but it's the same exact. Some people one. like to lie to themselves. Some people like to lie to themselves. I guess hype themselves up. Yeah, yeah. Or give themselves something to look forward to, even if it's unrealistic. I mean, I don't listen. I try not to rationalize with people and you know Mm -hmm. certain things because I what was it? Somebody said once that if you keep doing the same thing and accept and expect a different result, that's the definition of insanity. So mina mina to pre them something there. So if that's what you're into. More power to you, but me personally, I know what I'm doing. That's and what I'm saying. I yeah. <laughs> set up my thing so that I whole, can achieve. That's the whole purpose of a resolution. That's what I'm yeah. saying. So if you keep doing it, it's like, well, it kind of loses its touch when the year come around. you like, 
All right, so we're gonna try to get this. <laughs> but then real. I, but then some shit, you know, it yeah. takes a little while to get you. you know, yeah, I guess. But I feel so. like some of those things are like a lot of people realize that like after month one done or month two or month three, then it's like, mm, eh, whatever. And it's like Start we still <laughs> try, got, try again next year. Yeah, you still got nine whole months Yo. in it. <laughs> okay, well we done with this. The three months went. We'll try again. Mm-hmm. They just dash for the wall something this and said, you know, the year they have to start something new in the new year as opposed to still trying, even though we're halfway through the year or whatever the case is. Like mm-hmm. they just give up because it's not a new year anymore or some foolishness. So I don't mm-hmm. know. But yeah. That's assumptions and things. I don't I don't personally know. So yeah. Um so I have some topics. <laughs> you seem happy about this. Go I, ahead. I I have some topics. Um, I, I had, well, these were like <laughs> written down from Wapikil Phillips. So I may not even know if somebody missed up me uh, um, relevant still today. Mm-hmm. So we're going to start talking about some fuckery with the topics. We're going to jump right into it. Uh, what was it last year around this time they released the first, um, what was it? What is something it called? Surviving, Surviving R. Kelly. Mm. Um, on, what was that on Lifetime? The same something they come on pan again. Mm. So, I watched that one. I haven't saw. I haven't saw. On. Wow, Jesus! <laughs> I haven't seen the new one, and but I've heard a lot about the new one. I've heard about things that happened outside of the new one between the girls and things like that. And you honestly, from watching the first one, you can't tell me nothing new about him. Like nothing at this point surprises it excites me. You or is, is about be it. Like, oh my gosh! Yeah, you yeah. Didn't, there's no surprise factor at all. Like, I already know that he's sick. Like, and the girls involved were manipulated Fact. and probably are still being manipulated. So whatever happened in the new one, I'm probably going to end up watching it. But I just... It's not going to do much for you after the first one. I can say that because um, I caught up late. Like, mm-hmm. I just watched it, like, not too long ago. Mm-hmm. And, like, the first one... Both of them? The second one? Yeah, I watched... Yes. Back to back? Was it like a day or so? Oh, so like yeah, within, like a day or so. Mm-hmm. And the second one to me wasn't shit compared to the first one. Oh, okay. basically, the first one was like, yo, he what? And I was just like, what? And I yeah. couldn't believe. It. And I was like, because it was introducing you to all the behind the scenes because nobody ever spoke out before. So that's probably why it was such like so all wild the stuff with like Aaliyah and mm-hmm. all that extra yeah. shit. Look, no. <laughs> yeah. No, second one is bad too. Like the girls' families and all that. That was tough, but I don't know how to feel. Were about the this girls shit. in the second one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and it's just like they was filling out the timeline. That's that made it look crazy. Yes, but I feel ways because this man done fucked up my music catalog, yo. Listen, listen. I don't want to be listen. Like, listen, they want to sound me have to skip and delete. I cannot. Listen, and I, I'm not gonna even lie. I'm not gonna. Hold you. I'm. I have my moments mm-hmm. when I'm we're in the car, and I'm like, babe, we gonna play this real quick. One time, one time, we gonna play this. A guilty pleasure, real quick, babe. Why we doing it? Let's just go to our next one. Let's just since we have a little bad <laughs> moment. I'm sorry. Like I love happy people. Like yes, step in the name of love. Those yes, you, you do. Know yes, those you are do. my Shit. songs to like step to. How like, did I forget that? All them songs and then all the the sex songs. Mm-hmm. Like come. You got to cut out all the Mr. Biggs, R. Kelly, like, First collabos. of all, we were talking about it. We were, like, trapped in the closet. That whole shit. That whole thing is amazing. Like, word for word. And my thing, I was like, damn, I want to watch that. We, wa- we want to watch it together, but it's like, eh, we really about to sit down and watch this whole thing. After now that I've watched this, it's like, do I really? <sighs> I kind of want to. I ain't going to hold you. I ain't going to lie. I want to watch it, but. He fucked me up, bro, because I can't play stuff with just a clear conscience. No yes. more. I always feel like, damn, I shouldn't be playing this shit. Yeah. But fuck that shit. I'm going to play that shit for like two seconds. But damn, I shouldn't be playing that shit. People feel that way about a lot of things that people do. You know what I'm saying? That you shouldn't do it because this, this, and the next. Truth. My whole thing about it is that it's the manipulation level of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, in an essence, either kidnapped or bought these girls Mm -hmm. and abused them. Mm -hmm. It's not even like said them did one did it originally, like under the correct pretense. This is under false pretense because everybody that rip. But that's my thing. Everybody that got close to him to that extent, 
the story was you want to be a singer. Yeah. You, it was never. Yeah, had it was never. Else. It was never. I like you. We should hook up. It was always. I have something to offer you financially, stardom, music, career, da 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 da. But that was a false pretense because you never try to make these girls sing nothing or whatever the case is. So I can I, understand. I kind of want to say something, but it's like, mm-hmm. how am I well, when I say this? Oh, people. It's like, all right, you see how all the girls that he had yeah. some kind of goal, they wanted to be a this yeah. or that and that. Now, hmm. when you see somebody that's like, that's in the music business. They big. They successful. You gonna sit there and push up yourself? Not to say yeah. they they yeah, but they legit well, you put come yourself. Yeah, right there. And like you to allowed get, to get stolen? Like, no, like and it's not even about the to get stolen thing. It's you showed up, mm-hmm. right? This big grown man, I am security guard or whoever the hell. Text you and tell you show up to my hotel. Mm-hmm. We're having a pool party. You're right. however old you are. Listen, I understand the brain is not fully developed till you're what twenty something. Okay, maybe me grow up Who's too brain? fast. Who brain? Maybe I grew up too Who's fast. Brain though? Maybe I was too <laughs> hip to certain things too early. Not me. Because me, I know big man nasty on nowhere when me at sixteen years old. What? You are my father. Kill me? Are you? No, sir. I mean, I just, them something that my my father not got prison for me, and definitely not to say like they deserve it. Nobody deserves exactly it. Nothing like no. that. But it's like certain things. It's like damn, like you think, oh, I, this is what I want. This is what I want. Somebody gonna dangle some shit in front of you and yeah. be like, yo, since you claim you want this so bad, I'm gonna see how bad so you want bad. it. And I'm gonna do what I I could do whatever to you. Exactly. Since you want it so bad, because exactly. I'm gonna keep promising it to you. Nah. Yeah, and then it's after. My nah. thing is after how long do you? But. Again, these are children. That's what I'm saying. These and, are children the at the end of the day. It's crazy. And yeah. I, and he's probably was threatening their families and all it's of like, this. I didn't realize how long it was happening for. Because it wasn't in the limelight. By watching it, I'm just like, how the fuck this thing been going on for so long? You know but the then one I thought that got about me? how somebody played the tape for me, the pissy mm-hmm. tape. Yeah. And I was like 12. You get what I'm saying? And I watched it and I was just like, the fuck? Like this but, old ass, you know. Okay. What he doing? But to that point, right? I remember watching that one. Was it Kazaa or Beer Share? One of them something there back in the not day. Not Beer Share. Yeah, one of them something there. <laughs> and I remember watching it. And I was about the same age as a girl in the video. But in, a, in my mind, like, mm. Something about it just didn't feel real to me that it was R. Kelly really? doing it. You right. know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. at that time, and then with everything going on in the media and everything, like the same girl that saw it and was at his court trial and who ended up being one of the yeah, victims. Yeah, mama, she, she's something else. <laughs> Not nah, calling nobody. Not. I, yeah, mm-hmm. I have I have different mm-hmm. words for for her. She had next personally because you were on and the then outside. They have the picture the, of her with him at the trial. Yes. She going in. Good outside. morning. Good morning. Good morning. You know, I'm school. That that media that one. What do you mean by good morning? <laughs> Lady, please. You hear that this please. man is out here peeing. Off. First of all, you're not peeping upon me. You're Sorry. Not that kind of <sighs> me peeping upon you, but me don't know if me want nobody peeping upon me, you know. Me don't, me don't know if me too, you know, you know, the golden showers thing still. Me not judge nobody, you know. If no one do a little wet work something, that's your business. Never a little bit? Not, not a little bit. Maybe on a foot in you're the shower. In the shower on the foot, Ooh. but you're not. Some people in the whole chest and fierce and no, no, I love my no. no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And some people don't <laughs> drink enough water, it's a lot. No, my rank, no, sir, <laughs> too much going at that. <laughs> no, sir, no, mm. no, no, no. Mm-mm. I'm nervous thinking about it. Jesus Christ, I, I want to say watch too, but I don't feel like you're gonna be. You ain't gonna be surprised by nothing. You just gonna be like, "It's sad. This is fucking ridiculous." Yeah, it's my bad language, but this is fucking ridiculous. But mm. the first, my thing is the only difference for me in my mind is that the girls are actually on there. But everything that I've heard is that they're lying on the mm-hmm. video, and it's obvious that they're lying, and that they might believe the lie. So I don't want to see something that's fabricated for the sense of protecting a predator. I just want to know if you can actually be a person in his life and stand by him and truly say to yourself that he never did this. Yeah, but look how much people were in his life, though, that were covering for him. But I'm saying, do not covering. I'm saying, do you think somebody actually is in his life that thinks like, yo, legit, he did not do this at all? Probably. 
Probably because look how much. What people, more do you need? Like, look how much people though. Like, look how much people were still after the first one came out. We're like, oh no, da da da. Or or we're on some. Oh, them little girls were fast and da da da. Women too. That's the shit that blows me. I will say though, um, what we noticed was different with the second one. They had people that were actually on R. Kelly's side. Really? Yeah. Like, well, like white white women, two white women. Let's be honest. <laughs> don't get a fuck up. Two don't, white women. And don't. they were basically saying, well, we knew nothing about this. Basically, it never happened type shit. So they kind of made Where it a little different. Where did they come different. from? I don't Who know. Like, um, former, um, former people that, please, people that probably then got paid off for this shit. Okay. Realistically speaking. One was his assistant. Yeah, yeah. Former or something. Realistically yeah. speaking, right? I feel like, I hate to say this, but we live in different worlds. If you are not a part of black culture, you don't know the ins and outs of what's happening in our music and our news and anything day to day unless someone introduces it to you. As his assistant, I don't know homegirl from nobody, but as his assistant, unless somebody in the camp is like, oh, man, this is da da da. But his assistant doesn't necessarily need to deal with that if he has his lawyer and his road manager and whoever else Uh, covering and making everything look like, Mm, oh, these are budding artists that were right. you know what i'm saying so she probably really didn't know shit like she you know certain what I'm saying? levels to and things. honestly not to sound racist but i feel like white people are very naive oh jesus like the things could be <laughs> looking them dead in the face and they they're still very naive i mean look at the idiot y'all have in office but very naive to things that are look, slapping them in the face you know i don't involve serve, myself with that guy honestly though you can serve them shit and <laughs> say it is chocolate and they're like oh but they wouldn't lie to me this of course it's, it's chocolate Fool, fool. <laughs> That's what we call that. Fool, fool. Nah. You know what I'm saying? So the the two white women, I don't really, and then you're going to get me on a soapbox about white men and women and black men and their equality and differences, but that's a whole nother story. But I, sorry, their opinions are irrelevant to me as far as this goes. I, I completely agreed. I know we saw them. It was kind of like, wait, what the fuck? Like, this is different. This is new. White women came for, came for black men. That's problematic black men at that like that's <laughs> that's nothing new in my opinion y'all gonna judge me if y'all want to I'm, that's why they're such babies yeah <laughs> let me drink a little bit of juice yeah that's why they're such babies everybody caping for them though yeah so i mean oh child i i haven't funny enough well no i'm saying about the i'm thinking about all of it don't look at me like that <laughs> but i I've been playing with the idea of watching it, the new one, because of all of that. And it's you just like. You shit to me when I didn't watch it. Go ahead and watch it. Well, no, because the first one was like, these are people that were involved. We've yeah. never, ever, ever in the 20 years plus that there have been speculations and trials and everything about him possibly. You mean like actual people? Them. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Everybody has always been, it wasn't me. And then with the trial thing, how the girl didn't show up and everything like that. It's always been speculation. There was never any like. You know, except for that video that, quote, unquote, it wasn't me, Shaggy, whatever. But other than and that. Tried, like, I'm realizing never, he tried to say it was his brother and all that type of shit. Yes. Yeah. Yo, they, wow, his brother then, is his brother's. Okay. No. No. And then, No, no, no. The one brother that's in jail. <laughs> he a wild guy. <laughs> He's a wild guy. <laughs> he is an idiot. He's an idiot because I don't think he realized that he basically snitched on him. On camera, like you basically said, everybody has a type. He just happened to like younger girls. You mean children? Pedophile? Mm, not just okay. Just watching that whole thing and how they went through all the interviews, and he yeah. was like, "What? What? What? What age? Teenage? What is that?" Yeah, yeah. Talk like, what's what? up? Um, do you like younger girls? Do you mean like? Do you like teenagers? Yeah. When you say you teenage, like, what do you mean? What? <laughs> what? You are a big hot steer in my What do you mean? Like, but oh, what teenage? Do you what you mean? mean? Teen. Teen age. Because you said you'd be like 19. Like, nigga. Listen, you, anything that have teen panic, leave it alone. Uh, listen. Start at 20. I want Not even then. Listen, 19. Even 19, no make it. Yet. Yeah, because you just barely reach. 21 even, because you keep, you're not supposed to be drinking with no young people. Exactly. Anyway, so let's be honest. And you know they be drinking. Because sh- they talked about it. And shit real now, because what is it? Tobacco is what? 21? 21, same two. Yeah. But it was like that before, way back in the day, mm-hmm. before, you know, they was trying to draft people and all that. So I guess, mm-hmm. to me, it's still not real that tobacco is 21, because I don't work nowhere that sell tobacco. So it's like, 
figment of my imagination and I get ID'd regardless. So <laughs> either mm. way, it's like, damn, 18 was age and I was getting ID'd. I'm still going to get ID'd at 21. It depends because some people try to be cute. Let me see ID like for the, you know, I'd be like, the. Nah, I really. I know I look older than it. Kiss my ass. But here you go. Sometimes. It depends. Yeah, they don't believe me when I tell them I'm grown. So, yeah. yeah I think man. Yeah. They, yeah. they look at my ID and be like, oh, shit. I'm like, well, fuck you too then. Shit. <laughs> like, don't be getting so excited about it. Young Life thing. don't crack. <laughs> well. Oh, Jesus. Wait. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> You know, I feel something just like playing. Oh, I thought you was brushing your shoulder off, flexing or something. Never know. Anyways, watch it thing. Yeah. And then tell um, me. And then tell I'll me. I'll watch it and see how I feel about whatever. Did you see that video of the man Wait, trying to pick up? And them sugar. Can I put a twist to the R. Kelly thing for y'all to discuss, please? Go ahead. And and Michael as well. Michael Jackson. It's kind of all I, folk Funny. It was in my head and it slipped because I really was going to talk about how um, y'all homegirl Oprah. Um, <clears throat> oh, wait. Okay. Before you get to that, because that's a, that's a separate thing. Okay. So the thing with R. Kelly and Michael, right? Mm-hmm. What about the parents? Where's the parents in all of this? Because I think, I don't know if it's Jocelyn, so allegedly one of the girls in the first one, right? The parents took her mm-hmm. to R. Kelly concert mm-hmm. and you allowed your daughter to go backstage. My Esme, my Zella cannot go backstage at nobody concert. Without you. With Yeah, without me. You know what I'm saying? So how y'all feel about that? Like the parents. And wait, on the Michael side of it, one of the moms I know. was in the hotel room, in a separate hotel room, while the kid was, quote unquote, in the room with Michael. Or in a separate hotel completely. I'm going to stop you right there. So we can't talk about Michael. Yeah, twin not having it. <laughs> twin not having it. <laughs> I'm not even going to let you go there with that. Y'all going to have to judge if y'all want to. But if we're going to talk about parents, I don't have kids that I'm overprotective. I'm overprotective of my friends. I'm overprotective of anybody that I care about. So if the same way how I think Azriel's mama was out here throwing stones at the window and out there screaming and hollering or whatever the case is, that would be me as a parent. But first of all, how did she get away? You know what I'm saying? That was my thing to begin with. Yeah, you sneak out the house, whatever, whatever. But y'all don't have no fear in y'all heart for y'all parents nowadays. Me? None. Jesus Christ. None. Listen, me frighten. My parents, listen. <laughs> like, I don't feel like... I don't even know if it's respect. It, it might be respect. It might be respect that they didn't have for their parents. Why? They felt like it was okay to sneak out and go to this party with my mom. And, I mean, go to my party with my friend and tell my mom that I'm going bowling instead. And da, da, da. Now, granted, I lied to my parents about where I was going when I was younger. But it wasn't to go to no man house that whatever the case is, whoever the man was. You know what I'm saying? It was just... Oh, we're going to so-and-so's house. She didn't want us at the mall after certain hours. We was at the mall watching movies, hanging out with friends, whatever the case is. You know what I'm saying? And as I'm older now, I'm like, damn, I was doing some dumb shit because we could have got kidnapped out there at the fucking mall because yeah. my mama didn't know where the fuck I was. She ain't know, you know but what I'm saying? But things change. Exactly. And even back then, too, the mall had a curfew on there, so we couldn't be at the mall no late, late hours anyways without a parent. Let me tell you about Marva. Marva was not letting me go to nobody mall. Listen, I couldn't even go to nobody house in real life. Like, no. <laughs> no. Because I'd be like, oh, you know, we're going to go hang out with the mom. I mean, you know, after school, whatever. Where that mall? Where get money from? Yeah. <laughs> I don't have none. Okay, so. Where I got mall go to? Go read one book. You don't have nothing for that yet? Exactly. You don't have no homework? to do? Hmm. So malls was never the thing for me really to hang out with yeah. friends after school. I used to go home, school, home, school, home, school, home. That was yep. it. Yep. So. And I wasn't in no extracurricular activities. I was on a debate team for a little bit. I was in the um, was it Gay Straight Alliance for a in little the bit. GSA. Yep, GSA for the homies. And you know what I'm saying. But all of that stuff was within school hours. When school done, listen, park your ass until me come pick you up, and then go on about your business. But the whole like. And it's funny because I think about how, like, even in high school, 
my friends would be like, oh, we're going to, like, back in the day, it was Bully. Jesus, I'm told my age. They used to go to Bully, Boulevard Cafe or whatever. It was, like, all ages night, Um, I think Thursday or Friday night, and everybody used to go. This is here? Yeah, this okay. is here. And, uh, you know what I'm saying, everybody used to go out, and I'll just be like, first of all, I know my mom not letting me go to no goddamn club, so I'm not even going to ask. So I will be at home reading my books. Um, <laughs> Listen to me. Like, I'll, mm-mm. My mom didn't even let me go to people's birthday parties if she didn't like where the birthday party was being held at. Listen, if my mother didn't know you, if my mother didn't like you. That as well. And my, my mother, mom didn't. The only mom, thing that could maybe save you is if church, church. or if you were a known Jamaican or yeah. had known Jamaican parents yep. or if them spirit tech you maybe. Yeah. And you probably weren't American. Yeah. So it not gonna that wasn't going to work. Yeah. And so, like them people, I used to be like, yeah, you could come to my step to the front porch yeah you can't come inside my house <laughs> we can hang outside but you're not coming in because you trust me you don't want to meet my father because you can't take <laughs> oh, it jesus Christ. you don't want to meet my mom because you can't take it because yeah. you're gonna be like oh your parent uh. yeah. and then you probably gonna go and never come back anyway so honestly i think it was senior year mm. when i first introduced my mom to anybody that i was like talking to because i remember when i was younger i used to always be like oh you know i might have a whatever whatever and it was only because it was a church boy i was talking to a church boy at the time this he, when i say christian he was a virgin and all that like what like school. what kind but like what was like baptist like she had this very innocent Whoa. image of him because he was very like, yes, ma'am, and no, ma'am, and the type proper. of person, yeah. And Valentine's, them come bring our chocolate and all them something there, and yeah. And then one day, yeah. it's a look fun. Yeah, yeah. And when I say drove, like, 30-plus miles to bring me Valentine's Day stuff at school and then go back to school and bring me lunch at school, like, one of those type of, My mom, mm-hmm. like, yeah. So... <laughs> So that was probably like the first person that I introduced to like my mom. Like she knew that I was talking to other people, but y'all know my attention span is like real small. So she's like, "Me no want meet nobody. Don't don't bring nobody come in my yard." And I didn't want nobody to get roasted. So <laughs> yeah, because you come to my house, my mother don't like you. She gonna be like, "Oh, if I find one there, I would that." Well, I'm just glad that she liked me. Yeah, mm. she had mixed feelings about you. Who uh, you know because you are. Not feminine presenting at the same time, but at the same time, she loved you off, said we. That's, how they, to, that's how they be with grow. me, especially the older Jamaican. She that's how they be grow. with me. They be like, mm. yeah. And they be like, but I like you. Mm-hmm. But mm, mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, they they, they wishy washy. But mm, yeah. My th- back to, but with the parents though, I, I can't imagine like saying to my mom or my mom taking me somewhere to yeah. just leave me. Leave me where? My mom like, my mom really used to call me her handbag. Because <laughs> where she used to go, I used to yeah, go. Yeah, you have to be right there. Where are you going? You have one if you're going nowhere? And Wait. then as the age went up, I became, like, you know, the in-house yeah. video game. Yeah. So I didn't really go nowhere, period. So all this little stuff that used to happen me and the computer. to girls out there, it wasn't, I wasn't involved in none mm-hmm. of that. Not me. I was a nerd. I used to be in the house reading my books. I was on a computer. Maybe you'll name. find me in an AOL group chat. <laughs> Listen, in a whole bunch of chat rooms. And it, even then she was Ooh. worried because she's like, you know, they lie and say they're this and this. And, and my mom we went through is that one of those I people. I already talked about my catfishing story. <laughs> yeah, but my mom was one of those people that's always like, you never know who you're talking to. Mm-hmm. So don't send no personal information. Like yeah. my mom never really like try to closet us from mm-hmm. anything or sugarcoat nothing so we were always very aware and i feel like these girls might have been very naive naive and weren't aware that there are horrible people in the world they probably were like sheltered to the point where everyone has good intentions yeah he said he's gonna make me a singing star why wouldn't he he's r kelly That's he has an he has this he has this he he himself is a singing is star. that like upbringing he brought me to though, the studio has a lot to do with it like it could be they've that. been brought up in maybe like this home that's like not you know Perfect, yeah, cute and cuddly mm-hmm. and all that shit. Us, not to say we raised bad our <laughs> or whatever, but you know we've seen and heard. It's and, very and real. Our, and our minds have yeah. yeah opened up way probably before yeah. its time. So and also the fact that not to shame my poor little country, but we grew up in Jamaica too, where unless you literally lived inside the house, you saw things, everything. So. 
we are more aware of the world that we live in outside of the four walls that we reside in. So I'm not going to say it's easier to, you know, infiltrate the mind of somebody who whatever, but it is at the end of the day, Mm -hmm. because whether like, all right, realistically speaking, you, your mother take you to a concert, right? Mm -hmm. Y'all go to the concert and security guards send you, send him over whatever and say, oh, here's his number, whatever, whatever. He want to come meet you. Mm-mm. What is your next action old, after that? How old was I? 12, 15, 16, something around the same. And they gave it to me and my mom. To you? First of all, no. Listen. And see, that's exactly, you hear the question when you just asked? Because my thing is, if me and my mother stand up next to each other, right? And you come to me to pick me in that situation and come say, here, mm-hmm. R. Kelly wants to meet you. Exactly. First of all, you know, I have no respect for my mother was stand upside of me. Right. And say, let me give it to them. No. Hey, he didn't even care hey, to make it look ma'am, a certain way. Exactly. My, hey, ma'am, is this your daughter? So-and-so wants to meet her because, but then again, why do you want to meet her? You never hear me sing. Nothing. Who tell you, say, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, look like McCann. <laughs> exactly. Like, none of this stuff makes sense. just look you know, good. <laughs> I'm an overthinker. So, you know, none of this makes sense because I'm sitting here, like, breaking it down. Like, even yeah, if you, when he used to go to the mall and meet these girls if, and things like even that. Even if like, you break it down and say, like, he likes me because of my looks, pause. Why are you looking at me? Yeah. Because even me, working in customer service, when people be like, oh, how old are you? And I'm like, huh? Like, it always takes me because I'm like, wait, what? Like, when guys ask me, how old mm. are you? And I'm like, huh? And they were like, please tell me you at least. And I'm like, mm. and what if I'm not, sir? Why are you? Yeah, please huh? tell me you at least. Like, how you sound? How old are you? 40? Ill? Nasty. Ill? <laughs> <laughs> Ill? <laughs> like, what? So you you would be okay with it if I'm 18 and you're 40. Okay, yeah. Should I call the police? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So... All of that goes into play. And if you want to talk about Michael Jackson, the parents in that situation, right? My thing with that is if I take my child to go visit Neverland or whatever, <laughs> and this big hostarian man said, he wants to spend the night in another room with my picnic by himself. Absolutely. Huh? Mm-hmm. For Why? Can I come too? Like, what, what are you doing with my child that I can't be there? The, whatever. Right. The, my thing is, whatever the case is, I need to have a clear mm-hmm. understanding of what your intentions are before I leave my child with you. You don't. Listen, there are no intentions whatsoever. There is not <laughs> one. There is not one nothing. No, no nothing you could tell me that would make sense for my child to be in a room with you by yourself. There's as nothing you as an you adult tell and me. my child that is y'all don't need to spend time together for what there's nothing you could tell me oh for we what? just gonna okay no that still can don't I, add up yeah like that don't make no sense yeah so oh, these parents singing lessons i'm i can sit there and listen i want to hear the progress of my child what's going on i'm not gonna hold you i did watch and it and i said these parents some of them mm, yeah y'all need to be held accountable because what the f- fuck mm-hmm. were you thinking i know you didn't watch the michael jackson one but but we not we don't have to talk about Michael per se. That's what I'm saying but from any one of them. Michael bought the mom a house for one of the kids that's accusing him. So I'm just saying. So what that say? Before or after? Parents, Before or after? Who knows? Who knows? But put Michael to the side. Uh huh. The parents. Yes. Mm-hmm. You're basically selling your kids. They need to be held accountable. Yeah, they need correct. To be held accountable. That's what the documentaries need to be about. I agree. Going yes, forward, I agree. I agree with this you. This decade, like the parents, let's focus on the parents. Where were you? I agree with you. You was working a double. I mean, like I don't mm. know. For that, I don't care who it is. I agree with yeah. you. Yeah, hundred percent. I don't. I don't condone trying to blame someone to, like, like I said. I think about the way my parents were with me growing up. Right. And my mom. I think I've said this on the show before has always been like, if somebody tried to touch you or something happened, come tell me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking about, like, these girls in these situations, and they're saying whatever, like, my parents are just doing this for money and Mm da-da-da-da-da. If that's the case, I'm a firm believer that not everybody should be a parent. (laughs) Correct. So... You can't sit here and baba, oh, he did this, this, and this, and this to my kid, and sit here crying on camera if 
not even if you knowingly allowed your child to be in the presence of an adult without your supervision or somebody's trusted supervision. I think Ezreal's sister Everybody was with her. Need to be held accountable. Yes. My thing is, as a woman, if you are a mom, how would you even feel comfortable being around him, working for him, being a part yeah. of anything that really directly has to do with him? Yeah. No, after you hearing have, all of this. Especially if you have girls, mm-hmm. if you have daughters. How the fuck do you but feel? You're saying this, though, and the amount of people, like I was saying before, who saw the first documentary and were like, oh, he wouldn't do that. And like, even the girl and the created that the page, bailed him out. Created the, the page, right? What? They created a... um A GoFundMe? No. The- <laughs> oh, because I know he broke. Ooh, enough about GoFundMes for the for the week. Um, So... Well, what? Keep- <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'll be a shady. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> this sounds spicy. Oh. No, they created a page on Facebook, like a, damn, like a hate page, uh-huh. basically for the victims and stuff, and posted their, like, nudes up there. Wait, like, the girls, like, a hate page about the victims? The victims like yes. People yes. that hate them? Yes. That- people that think he's innocent, people that hate them. Wow. All that. People who blame the parents, just a full on, just I mean, a slander. Yeah, piece. blame the parents, but the children, at the end of the day, everybody yes, forget blame. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's just a real ill. Like, all the way around is just ill. From every angle you look at it, it's just like, it's disgusting. It's disgusting because. There's nothing okay with any of this. And I know people always like, oh, hurt people, hurt people, blah, 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 blah. Nothing but is. if you knew that you were fucked up because somebody molested you, why would you turn around and do it to somebody else if you knew it wasn't okay? Whoever it was, whenever it was. You know what I'm saying? And the amount of money that this man you had. You said that's a tricky thing, right? It's the like amount of money this man had. Therapy is a real thing. I know that, oh, Jesus Christ. They have a R. Kelly's Innocent page. Y'all are disgusting, bro. There's nothing wrong by going to jail. What? Because it's... Y'all disgusting. Which comment? Because the story doesn't seem true to me. It was a made-up story or an act to use Kells as a platform to end male and female relationships. What? To end male and female relationships? I don't understand. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is fun. Hold on. This is... is, is, There's more to it. Jesus Christ. So, because the story doesn't seem true to me, it was a made-up story or an act to use Kells as a platform to end male and female relationships to help the LGBT community Uh. rise. In order to do that, they must annihilate... Oh, wow. E-N-I-L-A-L-A-T. Is that supposed to be annihilate? Annihilate? I think it's supposed to be annihilate. Any person or group... You're an idiot. I can't take you seriously at this point. (laughs) Any person or group that represents having sex... Gay people have sex, though. Okay. R. Kells is the ringleader of lovemaking in bed and is the best to ever sing about it. So they feel if they can silence Kells, the LGBT could have control over relationships. The LGBT is one of the main reasons relationships are dying off. The lesbian and gay males in Atlanta is where R. Kells' most haters are located. Yo, what a blood clot. Um, oh, somebody say any for seeking male top. Okay, let me stop because I'm about to get into the comments on this. So... <laughs> so... So it's a plot for gay so people to take so over. So now we're taking him down. It's fake. It's fake. They're saying that it's fake and it's oh. a plot from LGBT so that but gay people so we have created sex to this Kelly music. What? Whole thing to charge him to get him like you know thrown away, taken away I have a question. because he's promoting straight sex, heterosexual sex. I have a question. When's the last time I I mean, that thing needs some promoting, if we're being honest. But (laughs) let me just, whatever. Go on. When is the the last time (laughs) R. Kelly put out a song? So I don't, like, y'all made him relevant. If anything, that don't Um, make no sense. You would know more than me. Mm. Uh, I get it back to you. mm. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? (laughs) But that is an angle I have not heard, and I am through with the internet. Because what? El- that If anything, those videos made him relevant again. Like, nobody was thinking about R. Kelly two years ago. What was First he doing? All, On YouTube and Instagram Live doing bullshit. So we are taking down... R. Kelly. R. Kelly, but Trapped in the Closet was basically... Yeah. Halfway through gay as fuck. Yeah. Right? Yeah, was because the husband, not even halfway through, like, 
Majority. Like the third one, yeah. yeah. So and we so people don't think. So I'm confused. He's he makes music <laughs> like, about having sex, right? And I guess gay people don't have sex, so the love making music has to die so that the LGBT can take over. I just that's suck a dick. <laughs> I'm over it. Next, because I'm sick of. I'm done. How does everything end up being about gay people? Like, they hate this, us. Bro, what you mean? This is my thing, right? I'm for no always, reason. It be for no reason. Shit that. don't have nothing to do with us. All of a sudden, we pop up in it. How, may I ask? Because How of self-hatred. Self-hatred. Shit. Half of them is clo- in the closet they damn self. Because y'all more worried about gay people than gay people are worried about each other. Bro, like, what? Sitting here minding my rainbow-ass business, and then here comes somebody. Like, it don't make no with sense. With the fuckery. We, we just be trying to live. We try. We trying. Listen, speaking of trying to Fuck. live your rainbow fucking life, um, where your name? Goody in a KFC. What's she a call him? And batty band the people that Hold it. <laughs> it's not funny. Stop Hold laughing. <laughs> Man, I laugh. Man, I laugh. On. Yeah. So, what he order? A breast? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm good. I'm good. I'm piece of, I'm piece of chicken breast. And my girl said, yo, first of all, first of all, <laughs> in all my years going to KFC, right? Whether, uh, wherever, <laughs> me never know, so them can't put any name on the You can, because, and then you have a separate. Yeah, thing. they have Listen the number on there. They call the number. And, you, and know? you could put a separate little message. That's to, for y'all. Yeah. And then it come out to be just mm-hmm. the regular one. Mama. Yeah. Must have there sleep that's all for a minute and just make it slip and look there. No, and, and so no, so why <laughs> somebody get this batty on our big breasts? <laughs> Yo, it's not funny. <laughs> what a regular. <wrecking, laughs> What? Yo. Yeah. And and guess what? It's my tip in our face over though. Right? No, then yeah. what are wrong? Yeah, then what are wrong? But the problem is, suppose somebody did really see it for real. Like, you know, Jamaican people ignorant yeah. all the time. Suppose and, somebody look on no, and say, Yo, a batty man. No, 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 no. But listen though, halfway tree. This is what I'm saying. Yeah, no, eleven o'clock. Yo, eleven say, o'clock at night. Real? Eleven o'clock at night. Yeah. Yeah, Half a tree. I'm gonna get them nacho goes too. Like all jokes aside, I hope she lose the work still. No, yo, okay, so you put out message about retraining stuff and all them retraining, <laughs> and it's no representation. I was saying mm-hmm, whatever. And then, yeah. My thing is, I feel but, bad for the girl that called it out and didn't realize. Because imagine say y'all work and you just step on autopilot and you just did it. I read. I said number fifty seven, two piece zinger. All right, number fifty seven. Yeah, I went barbecue. Look up. That's true. Uh, but man, but, 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 yeah. oh shit. You yeah, know. when we look up, <laughs> you know, gun man and you. Batty girl want two tie. Like what? <laughs> what two nice tie? Like excuse me. <laughs> I tell people that my business. <laughs> for real. Or you know something about just effeminate. You're like, but suppose the man was a batty man for real now, then again, man. I never want to draw attention to himself. I think you just draw it and find him this, huh? You know, people are supposed to see it on a side of him. Exactly. And mm. I lucky say, I went them dead and I walk up where something happened, you know. And I like same. But even still, that is a safety hazard. I will, on. I will own a branch of KFC. Hold on, may I go to, hold on. May I go to the right with that one. KFC you, uh, again. Which part am I finding right? No, you see, <laughs> Jesus Christ, we think I see him KFC. <laughs> we find a fight a rat. <laughs> huh? We think I see him KFC. Yeah. Or somewhere down there, so. I feel love Jamaican people because I said this interview <laughs> and the lady said she don't care. She said, please open up the KFC. She have rat our yard. Rat now do nothing to the food. And she want to eat our oh food. God. And she said, please open up the KFC. Straight, yo. Yeah. I'm say KFC did I go on bad that week, day, you know? Cause I'm set up two public service announcements. I apologize, but rat, I yeah. apologize. Yeah, me like I should say, yo, rat, rat, now trouble, your rat down my yard. I'm a good. <laughs> yeah, I true things still. I can't open it back up. Get a one spring out your old, and get rid of the one rat, and then I can't open it back up again. Nobody not time for inspection and all them flat there. Yo, but no. chicken, a chicken, a chicken. <laughs> me not know. You sure say a chicken in my feet? Or <laughs> Look here. <laughs> <clears throat> Certain things in a question. It tastes nice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, honestly, I gotta tell you this because we used to eat Chinese food a lot together. Bro. I stopped eating Chinese food. No, sorry, the chicken. Mr. still eat my lo mein and my rice, but the chicken, no, the other day when they order some Chinese food, right? And From which bar? Wrong so? <laughs> Down the road. No, not no place. No place. Is that so? No, no, not not right there. So. Lee Chi? No, no, no. Um, where name? 
Golden something or something like that. I don't remember what name. You, uh, you don't even remember what name me, it? Let me pull up something. Can we have them save no us Chinese? Plug. No free plug. Right, yeah. Yeah, that's All right, not All right. puss and dog. Yeah. <laughs> them yeah, there. yeah. But I order Chinese food and a piece of chicken will come in I plate, right? Oh, my God. It long, so. <sighs> I'm going to say wait there. Which part of chicken breasts? Yeah. Looks so. Right. Right? And... The mind is a powerful thing. Bad, and bad. I'm going to tell you, say, all my years, I'm used to live in New York, you know, I'm going to say rat there in there. Yeah, good Chinese. I'm going to say watch and rat and all of them in there. Yeah, Puss and Chinese. dog and everything, right? Um, I'm Chinese food, same way, no problem, right? But this one night, we look pan the chicken and I say, yo, <laughs> I don't know what chicken will look so oh, enough. Yo. I mean no chicken. <laughs> and I see people kill chicken and skin chicken and chicken you come out me? and chicken. My bite half piece and then my mind just start work on the chicken. Yeah, I'm and I said, no, no, I can't, can't do it. it. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say that should have whole something. I couldn't, no, I couldn't. I really, honestly, I truly, <laughs> and for weeks, it was ba- like I felt sick because I was thinking about it like, dog, this is not chicken. I'm no say I'm not chicken. <laughs> like, I mean, I'll try rationalize, right? Like, say, all right. So make sure them, them do the shredding, them shred the chicken breast, right? And then them, like, mold it, and mm-hmm. it still don't make no sense. Because me cook. I mean, no. <laughs> I like it's chicken. not the right. I mean, no. I like Chinese. We rather get the, um, the, the wing. So. Even if I like, pigeon. <laughs> I like chicken and Chinese from different places. Mm-hmm. And we don't have a problem yet. So we don't want eat, eat, eat a couple of rat on them something. <laughs> Them clean, them clean it right before <laughs> them put in there. Like, I just that one, like, the rat, rabbit. The germs. You understand? As long as it cook good, you understand? And if it tastes like chicken, them do, them know what them are do. And, yeah. What? <laughs> Nothing no wrong with that. What am I going to do? Ask the people, I'm going to put rat in here. I'm going to put amsta in here. And I never do that. I'm going to ask them that. Hey. You say they put what? Amst- uh, amsta in here. <laughs> <laughs> Gerbil and have something there. Amster? Yo, Wait, <laughs> love me, man. But yeah, when I ask them, did they do that? So I can't tell me, no, we did not. Yo, use your imagination. Listen, at this point, use your imagination. I'll just Rasta. stick to, you know, like the wings, the, the things that have wings, like the chicken wing, them. We'll do that instead of the little breaded. Just because you see a wing pan it, you think that real too? Me just know, say, it could have be a pigeon you or a right. chicken you, you or you know some other kind of bird. I'll type of fuck up. I'll Listen. type of wing. I want to say Netflix have all I show them when I tell you about where fuck with them when they feed feeding you know? This is Jesus what I'm saying. Christ. This is what I'm saying. You think so? I just, yeah, okay. I want to go back home and just go live on my farm and just be done because. Uh, well, me, I got one day, I'm a chicken, said we. Until. I didn't say I was going to stop eating chicken. Until me see something pop off and I want to plate there where you it just look funny. like, yo, can't look upon that again. <laughs> <laughs> that, no look, that looks strange, Rasta. Yeah, Don't that's what that. happened with the Chinese food. And it looks strange. And when that moment come, I tell myself from that moment on because we can't manage. Speaking of, you know my brother's vegan now? That's so nice. <laughs> That Happy film. Happy film. So so when he wake up in the morning, I just saw him feel. So <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> Good for him, cause we can't do it. So when I'm like like a regular morning, like breakfast, what breakfast look like? Peanut butter and something. I don't know. And he's also like into like health and fitness and shit. So he's like, well, no, 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 stop it, stop, stop, go back again. Peanut oatmeal. butter. Oatmeal and like he eats like oatmeal, like an oatmeal thing. So like, what's his lunch? Um, I don't know. Cause I'm not asking hmm. about it. Like I'm not yam none of them something there. Yeah. Lunch this on. Hmm. But no, honestly, I eat about three, four times a day though. Cause but what did I look like then? You can tell me what did I look like? Lentils and um, Lentil. quinoa, like the soup, like, like lentil the actual, soup. Yes, like the soup, the lent. Yeah. So I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! No lie, he brought me a bag of lentils. I know it's still and I come back. I mean, I don't know if you do with that. That's like, going a soup and nothing <laughs> else. Lentil lentils soup and beans and uh, oh, we can't eat them beans <laughs> and something. You know, me not deal with bean. The only bean when we eat is baked bean. Baked bean, <laughs> yeah. With some, with some, with some hot dog and some cut up in it. Yeah, that nice. Yeah, that bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that bad. But what? Mm-mm. Yeah. Yeah, but then, listen, go So ahead. he's completely vegan, like, not yeah. like, ha, ha, no, ha, no, someday, no. yeah, yeah. Mm-mm, Full mm-mm, on? Mm-mm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that nice. I made some bean burgers. He gonna ask me what I put in. That. I said, I "Bitch, be- it's beans. It's a bean burger." Me never name it. I never mean it. Two of them, one time bean <laughs> and burger. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> but no, say that like burger oh from my long god. time. On earth. Yeah. Bean burger, the best thing on earth. Oh, yeah. that not nah nah yeah. nah. Not, nah, not from any and anywhere though. All right, it's from Pointless Delights. Me not like yeah. that. Me yeah. not like. Me not like that. Restaurant. Not delight. Soul. Don't delight me, though. though. Not delightful <laughs> at all. Yeah, you don't do burgers and, but, and and beans. But listen, though, you eat hot dogs. What's the difference between hot dog that, that, and that, that, burger? Wait a minute, What's the difference between hot dog and burger? Now they say a mix up, mix up, ma'am. Look, look here, look here, look here, look here. Look here mm-hmm. like, all right, come. You ex- never say nothing if you want put. Hamburger in a your mouth, you know. <laughs> it just not going in my mouth. It can't go in a your mouth. That's perfectly fine. That is your business. <laughs> no, love hot dog. A hot dog never said nothing about you. <laughs> Leave it alone. <laughs> what a burger said about you? But beans, how you do that? Like you put, just like mash you them get, up. Yeah, mash them up and you season it up and you put your little pepper and whatever. No, and you mash up the beans? Yeah. And you put like a flour, white name in there so you can hold it together and it have like a little texture and thing. That thing is and nasty, Rasta. That is nasty. Honestly, me, myself, I can't eat it and because it, and it textures. But I yeah. know where you put on that now. I mean, just regular. Yeah, does it like a regular burger. Yeah. You put all type of... Your, your bread and what? your cheese and your lettuce and tomato and onion if you want them something there. Like a barbecue no sauce bathroom or ketchup. No bathroom can't see if after that. <laughs> no bathroom. Oh. <laughs> Look for our face, don't you see? Mm-mm. Listen, different strokes to different folks. Yeah, I right. personally, I don't think I've ever had one. I cook a lot of things that I can't eat myself because mm. me and textures like grits. One of them, something that were apparently I made. You good grits. already know how yeah. I feel about that those naki. things. <clears throat> grits will never ever make it in this small. No, never. I need a because <laughs> just <laughs> why? Now, baby, vomit that man. <laughs> Baby, puke, baby, puke. oh my god, baby, puke that man. It does look like baby, baby vomit that dog. And I'm just, ew, and then I'm do all type of, and I put all cheese and sugar, <laughs> and all type of sitting in there. Black pepper and all, all, all type of sitting. Now you want to sit around mixing around to in a butter, and then did they? Have <laughs> I have been told. Yes, I'm just sitting there watching them. You want to sit around that waffle house? You want to sit around stir it up? And they put shrimp in there and make yeah, it try to look pretty, like it look good. Like it look good. <laughs> like shrimp I, gravy. Put, I put good, good oxtail with grits. Excuse me? No rank no ras. Rude. Never in my life. What? Oxtail in a rank. <laughs> not backside. Rank. Oxtail and grits. Good, rasta. good oxtail. In a one plate. Mr. the grits, don't at the bottom, and then put the oxtail on it up in the middle. With the gravy, so it look pretty or whatever. What kind of pretty that it? cannot look it's pretty? Not, they are not time. It look not, because them. Look, them something they not forgot together. And I saw that work. But, ew. Since you said it now, I can't get it out of my head. It does know, look I like know. baby vomit. I, yes, I puke, yes. <laughs> ew. <laughs> ew. <laughs> baby vomit, Jesus. Ugh. Yeah, it just great. Hey. Yeah, it is. Yes, that's, it's and grainy. It just, and it, and it doesn't, <laughs> this is my thing, right? Me cooking grits. I'm sitting there waiting for it to like. You make lo- it? Yeah, I've made grits for people. Me used to date somebody with a foreigner, so them used to like grits. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had a uh, lapse in judgment. Anyways, you know? Shit. So, uh, me know they are mix up, mix up the grits. <laughs> <laughs> they are mix up, mix up. I'm sitting there, I wait for them for like smooth out or even out. And just grainy, same way. So, I'm saying, Jesus Christ, how much so? Like, you know, just name it, same way, so? Like, People no, make sir. that in my yard. Miss Go go see people at near me. It looked the same. Yeah. It, no matter just, what you do. We just watch me watch people do all type of sitting to all type of tear off. They want to put some of this in your so this in your so sugar, some like salt, some <laughs> like this, some like that. Type some butter, like it hot, some of, like it. I'm cool. gonna watch people and then watch them when I start up I said, look here. <laughs> mm. I would never get that something enough to eat. <laughs> I look like someone for scrub your foot back with. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so like a good remedy for a pedicure. Yeah, yeah that not look good, man. Yeah, that's, you know. Mm. But then some people, you know, say, them tech, they, they're passionate about grits, though. People who eat grits, they are Very passionate. Very passionate. Like, you have to make them grits are good. With them good pure mouth. Because <laughs> I went somewhere with somebody one time, and they requested grits 
instead of eggs or something, so. And when I say a whole hissy fit about how the grits were made, and then complain about customer service on the back end, like, oh, they didn't do it the way I like. And I'm sitting here like, grits, though? And that you're really upset about? Rasta, Mr. Sidonia, and I just <laughs> become, can't believe people are near it. Yeah. I. That is a staple. And I'm sitting and and I'm um, in jail, you know? Yeah. Sometimes it's home plate on Twitter, so. Oh, and gosh. the plate look good. And then we're looking at the car, and I see the grits. <laughs> Keep and it. it's just like the plate just smash up. <laughs> Keep it. It's like the plate just, you know, look good again. Kind of grits in the can. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. But, you know, different strokes. People in Jamaica eat grits? Ask somebody if they eat grits. Uh, Call anybody. Text anybody on WhatsApp. Ask them if they eat grits. <laughs> WhatsApp, Jesus. Call <laughs> meal. A Jamaican grits. That. Yeah. That. Yeah. But I don't eat that either, so. Yeah. Yeah. It's grainy too. Not as grainy, but grainy the same way. We can't do it. Sorry. We talked about that earlier. Me and cornmeal. Mm-mm. No. No, you love your cornmeal dearly, but. <laughs> but people always say, okay, so how come you can't eat cornmeal, but you don't eat great? Not the same. First of all, cornmeal has its own taste. Not it has same. a flavor. T- I don't feel like grits. I haven't eaten it, so correct me if I'm wrong. I don't care. Me can have a put in my mouth. It's like me yeah. Can, it's like my spirit feel like it would just. It's like an abomination. Yeah. Me not, me not it just like my body. I just when I see ghosts before, when the people yeah. in body just I come out of them body, just feel like that like happened to me. If me if I put grits in my mouth, yeah. <laughs> like I've, I've, I would yeah. I, they say never say never, but me you can't pay never. me for eat grits. Never ever ever. ever. I would eat cornmeal before I eat grits. Like it. It not gonna work. Sorry, like that. Can be like something. Okay. I like cream of wheat. All right, me done. <laughs> done. Can you, can you not go feed me? I'm look at me. I get hungry. I know. <laughs> they all in the same family. People like to say, um, grits is like porridge. No. No. Okay. One name porridge. One name grits. <laughs> no, two different things. But it's hot and it's, you know. Nah. <laughs> it's made in a similar fashion. You mix it. Why you not name it then? Me not name it. Okay. No. Me never say I me say it. People, not me. Because I'm worried about textures. You know that though. Mm-hmm. Me, me, me can't really. Mm-mm. And then the fact that you could put black pepper in there, it just it's a confusing thing for me. Very confusing. It's too much. You can't put sugar in there. You can't put black. Me don't know. What other food can you put black pepper and sugar in at the same time? Where I cook, where I eat, we have sugar and black pepper in the same time. I don't cook, number one. But <laughs> How based fortunate. on what I know, based on what I know, I don't. No. Sugar, don't. black pepper, like that, that, that in itself just sounds like you have to do too much to make it work out for you. So me not, me not, me not really too into that. But. How did we get here? Me not know when about that ball grits and a hug. How we reach us? I don't know. Me not know. But I was trying to ask you before we got here. Did you see the video of the man trying to pick up the girl off the train? Yes, <laughs> I did. Then they find they found him though, right? Yeah, and they and beat, his, beat ass. his ass. Yeah, I saw that. Um, what do I got to say about it? Stay alert. Not even just that. I I, I have nothing. I, it's terrible. It's bad. It sucks. That's what's happening. People yeah. are shit. Stay alert. Stay but awake. Son. <laughs> be prepared. Have a weapon. Something. Like, I, I don't know what else to say about it. It sucks. But shit is happening like that. People getting took. Yeah. Like fuck. And, okay, stay ready. But you see how my you come out of the train and sit on the same place? <laughs> like, mental issues. People really ignore mental, like, Issues like people really ignore that stuff because obviously the man is mentally underdeveloped or challenged because you really just try to pick up that. I don't know if she grown or not, but she was big enough to be fucking grown to try to pick her up and walk off the train with her. This was sleep, and then, but she nah, she wasn't sleep or she no, was no, trying, she was sleep. She was trying to sleep. This was sleep. The amount of time she, she fanned him off, though. She was a little bit too... Uh, she, she was she sweet. was She was, like, fanning him off. Every time he touched her, she fanned him off, whatever, whatever. But this man legit picked her up. 
and sat down right outside the train like nothing happened. It would have been me and that nigga that day. <laughs> I promise you. But there was guys there, and she was like, y'all not going to do something? He right there. Like, you see, my, you see my face? Do I look surprised Ooh. to you? I look surprised? But the way he was sitting there, he was probably... The way he was sitting there, you would probably be like, who for real? Yeah. He but was sitting there like he ain't do nothing. Mental issues. Fact. But ain't nobody, nobody ever really stands up Wake for up. So. Black women are the most disrespected and I'm not surprised. It's like that. That's just how it's always been. Don't nobody like, protect the black woman like yeah, that. Yeah. We are literally at the bottom of the totem pole. Literally. Like, Shit is higher than us, uh, yeah. especially in this country. So I'm honestly not surprised. But at the same time, I'm looking at it from a standpoint of somebody who is aware that not everybody's all the way there. And people do ignore the fact that people need help. So what he did was fucked up. But in my head, I'm thinking, like, if this is somebody that was of good mind, like standing and everything like that. He would have ran or wouldn't have tried that shit anyways. What the fuck are you saying to me right now? Because they went and tried to beat the man up the next day. No, not tried. They would Well, they did, they did beat him up the wait, next day. Wait, what you're saying? That's what I'm about to say. Wait, wait, Come wait, on wait, now. Wait, we, we defended hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you trying to... Wait, 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 wait. You maybe I'm, maybe I'm hearing you wrong. Mm-hmm. Am I hearing you wrong? What are you asking? Like, are you saying that looking at the situation, like, it's kind of clear to see that he has a mental issue... So from me looking at it, yes, obviously something is wrong with him. You can't be in right mind and literally try to pick up this grown ass person mm-hmm. to take them off the train while they're sitting next to somebody that they know, whether they're sleeping or not. Right. And after the attempt fails, you literally just sit there. You didn't even like try to walk off like nothing happened because he was sitting there before she even got anybody to get up and walk out there to see him. Right. You know what I'm saying? So he could have cleared it. He could have footed and went up the stairs. He could have jumped into another car. He could have done a whole bunch of shit, but he literally just sat there and was just looking around like. So do you think that should change how we view the video? Like how we view the situation? Not necessarily, but at the same time. It was a fucked up situation, but the next day or whenever it was, y'all went and found him and beat him up. Yeah. Okay, cool story. Whatever. <laughs> There's also other videos of this man like singing some wild shit about I like looking at young girls and when they look back, I look at them like this and like he's like hiding his face kind of like something is clearly wrong with this guy. Clearly. And I feel like a few things. Yeah. But that's one of those things that we talk about like the parents because Somebody somewhere in his life should have noticed this from early on that something was wrong with him because he should not be out in the public roaming around without supervision. Mm-hmm. And then also, my other issue with this video is do we know the person do we recording. Know how long he's been like that. No. Do we know if it just started? Do we know? We don't if know anything about him, him and except, now he's acting like this. We don't know anything about him except that he picked up the girl after tapping her a few times and then just sat there and then got beat up the next day. But my thing is, somebody sat there and recorded that. Somebody sat there and recorded before he even tried to pick her up, him tapping her, tapping her, tapping her. That was a recording from a phone? Mm-hmm. Was it from a phone? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the angle, it but was But it looked like, was it? The angle, it was somebody from, you know how the why train they set look, up. Why did it look like what? Surveillance? You think it was surveillance? I feel like that was like from the, the way it was. I don't know which video you a, saw. But maybe the video, different angles. The but the one I, I saw looked like it was like the train Oh, the train camera. video? Okay, because the video I saw, it was from. It looked like somebody was holding it from like waist length mm-hmm. and was pointing it at him mm-hmm. because he was sitting in this area and she was sitting over here and he kept tapping her. So if somebody's sitting, you know how the train's set up, yeah. how they have like the handicap section or whatever uh, and then yeah. the door and whatever. Mm-hmm. Somebody was sitting on the other side and... Yeah, that's the angle right there. It just shows you, like, that. So the person shooting that video literally just sat there and watched this and just recorded the whole thing. And I'm like, same thing, backtracking to Black Mirror. I don't feel like I saw it because I didn't see his face up to be that clear. So I don't think I saw this angle. Oh, okay. I didn't even know there was other angles to it, but I'm not surprised at the same time. But there are people out there, like you said, who sat there and watched this happen and but you want to tell me though he's sitting over here wop wop mm-hmm. wop mm-hmm. 
What? Me woulda kick you long time. This is what I'm saying. Me woulda you know, kick you long first time. Wife, like, the bumper clock can't touch me for. Me know what is it that you need. I don't fucking know you. How may I help you? How or help you? the person that you're sitting there with, hey, who this? You know him? The third one would have got him a punch in the face, though. Yeah. But you know me already. I be If you look at me for too long, hey, you know them? Come in and know them. Where y'all look at me so far? Like, <laughs> I'm out the gate. How may I help you? Can't help you? The, mm. Hi, hello? <laughs> yeah, so, you doing this to me? Yeah. Um, and then she kept, like, pulling the hoodie over she, her head and all that. Didn't I this. say she should have stayed ready? But no, no, man. Weird it. Weird, and he looked weird. He looked creepy as fuck. Yeah, and he on the train. He messing with you. You don't know him, sis. What you talking about? You covering your face for this? The type of shit. Stay. No, keep your eyes open. That don't make no sense to me. The whole thing is kind of crazy. It should never happen. But, but sister, really, in this day and age, <laughs> for real, everything going on in the world. Yeah, you over here. He playing with you. He looked weird. You don't know him, but you gonna pull back your thing over your face like this. Who playing? What the fuck is this? How yeah. you see? Miss, <laughs> stop playing. No. Yeah, they gotta work that out. People gotta stay like alert, aware of your surroundings. Like, peep what the lock fuck is in, going lock on. Lock in with your shit and know what the fuck going on. And shit like that. And the way I think make me feel like I'm too paranoid sometimes. Oh well. But then it's like, um, you watch things. I, I need to. You've educated yourself. Listen, you're open to th- you. You watch things that people don't normally watch, and that's fine. I watch way too much SVU. That's and fine. Criminal Minds. That's fine, and, and that shit is happening for real. Yes. So there's nothing wrong with it. And th- those are based on true life stories. That's what I'm saying so, ain't nothing wrong with the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you just feel crazy because it's so much. Because yeah. you just like. Yo, you watching this person. You see how they moving. You see yep. how they can't stop moving. They lying about some shit. Mm-hmm. What they doing? They, this person nervous right here beside me. Why they so yep. fucking nervous? Yep. Looking at people, temples and shit. You sweating. Why you sweating like that? Your you, eyes shifting too much. All of that. Yep. You jittery. Like, what's yep. up with you? Hmm. It's funny you say that. Something, some crazy shit happened. I've seen you three times. Yeah. I've seen you four oh, times. Yeah. Why am I seeing you so often? Every turn, every time I turn around, this car, car is following me? Ooh. How many times I got to see this car? That's how I be when I'm like Scenario. driving home. I be Scenario. like, why are you, damn, you came this way and this way and this way with me? Listen, I took the bus home the other day, right? And I'm walking down the street, and I saw a silver car pass, right? And now, the street that I live on, is not too much traffic on that street. Right. So, you going on that street. Either you took a shortcut, or you going somewhere on that street. street. Like, there's no, mm-hmm. it's not a main road. Right. So, I'm walking, I see this car pass, and I'm like, whatever. Didn't really pay it no mind. I just remember seeing it. Then, halfway down the block car pass back going the next way and i'm like i know that's the same car because it's a drop top mustang like silver mustang all right whatever drop so i'm walking again walking walking and then car pass by again and i'm like okay what the fuck is going on at this point because bitch i have seen you three times in a span of five minutes let me take up. Oh, listen, at this point, my key is coming out of my bag. It's broad daylight, mm-hmm. bitch. I don't, I know they do the shit in the daytime. Right. I don't mm-hmm. give a fuck. So my key is out my bag at this point with the key in my hand yeah. to get in my door oh. because if anything, Bye-bye. listen. And then I have my bottle open on my keys so that shit nice and heavy. Mm-hmm. Fuck with me if you want to, like, you know what I'm saying. And you can sit here and say I'm paranoid and all this, but at the same time, I'd rather be paranoid than. On a missing person's po- um, That's poster. That's what I'm saying. A lot of them people wish they had been more paranoid. You wish know. Wish they had paid attention to their surroundings because it would have kept them out of the situation that they got into. Or a lot of people do paying attention to their surroundings. They wouldn't have got kidnapped. Exactly. Certain shit wouldn't have happened. Pay. Exactly. Uh, yeah, and nah. you talk about kidnapped. Um, remember that story that popped the other day about the little girl who faked her kidnapping? And... <laughs> and how, like, she did it to run away with her boyfriend or whatever. Oh, the not fuck. the little... P- Get her, yeah. Mm. She knew. I feel as though she should have been locked up. Um, yeah. Her and her little friends. And yeah, her I feel like. Who yeah, I feel like. Years old. Not locked up. Maybe not locked up. Cause that don't make sense to take them out of school. Cause they dumb as hell already. It seems. <laughs> so what I think they should have um, probation. Yeah, not something community like community service, service type mm-hmm. shit for like six months or something. Yeah. All of them, yeah. like mandatory. Like and not no, even you can't opt out. All of y'all, y'all yeah. dumb as hell. Yeah. What? And not even no fun shit like you get to go clean up. No, no, no. We no, want to no. give you something to do for real, for real. I just found out that it was a lady recording the video. What do you mean? That the video on the train? A sister? or? Yeah. Well, Are you know. fucking kidding me? Yeah. Of the girl getting picked up? Yeah. I'm currently watching and reading the stuff right now. Who's yeah. surprised? 
<sighs> no one. This fucking okay. world we but live who's in. who's surprised? Nobody. Not really. You just like, oh, damn, sis. You ain't surprised. We claim to love each other so much, but at the same time, like... That's why you don't... See? Live your life and don't claim to love no fucking body. You'll be okay. My like, damn, damn business. <laughs> I didn't say I loved y'all. <laughs> just I'd be the first to tell you I can't stand y'all motherfuckers. But, like... <sighs> It's neither here nor there with that me. That is wild. <laughs> Shit like that makes me just can't stand people. Because you really sat there and recorded that? What else was she going to do? Is what she's going to tell you. What, what else was she supposed to do? Is what she's going to ask you. Should she have hopped on him? She don't know what would happen to her. What was she going to do? Oh, they were yeah. on a train. Of course. So what was she going to say? Alert the nearest big burly man. Something. Go sit down next to homegirl and be like, yo... Wake up. It sound Literally. Good. It sounds good. Wake up. It sounds good. Ain't nobody doing that. You right. Because ain't nobody about to put their neck out there for the next person. You like, are. Suppose, he just, suppose he got something He turns on, on me. Then he turned on me instead of you. Then I got myself all mm-hmm. fucked up. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, like I said. It's that split that thought like, bitch, maybe I shouldn't get my ass involved in your shit because I don't know. I don't even know. Maybe. I don't even know if you know him or not. Mm-hmm. Bitch, we on this train, but I don't know if you've seen him before. Y'all had links before. Y'all got to. Some yeah. shit is weird because you don't want to hop in and because a lot of people end up dead because they yeah. hop into other people's business. You don't want to. That's why. You, you don't want to be that guy. It's funny you say that because I always say that I don't believe in breaking up fights. Because how many quote unquote innocent bystanders end up being like shot or seriously injured or killed because they broke up a fight. You're lucky. Between two people. You're lucky. Me lucky? How me lucky? You're lucky. <laughs> I'm just saying. Almost a two-year broke up. Grown man. <sighs> <laughs> but I knew the parties involved. I'm talking about random strangers on the street. No, I'm not. But see, something like that, You, if she, I'm sure if she was on the train, if she wasn't on the train, mm-hmm. either she might still have tried to record it or she might have tried to get away. Or I'm yeah. like, I'm getting the fuck. Me, I see some shit, some rustling and tussle. People acting stuff. I be like, look, hmm. <laughs> let's go. Time for me to go. Like, Cut. me and babe is like that. Like, we see some shit going on when we out. It's time to go. That is like, the Lord sending me a sign. We're looking at the eye, eye contact, time to bounce. I love that eye contact between friends. Like, we all get the same. We just look at, oh, it's time it's about to go. Time. Or, let you us know, somebody look at their they little phone. Right the fuck. When I look at my fake watch. Listen. <laughs> bitch, is any of y'all have ever seen me when I look at the fake watch and I give it a two tap? She got me Yo. doing this. I never used to do it. She got me doing this. I ain't got no watch on this damn hand. But if you see me look at my fake watch Yo. and I tap that bitch two times, <laughs> just know. Ain't no questions to be asked at this I'm, point. I'm getting ready to go. So yeah. uh, y'all just know you that. You got two seconds <laughs> to figure out what the fuck you gonna do because yeah, I'm gonna be it's gone. It's tap, tap. Ain't no watch there. Don't forget. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's... it's a, Skin 30? Yeah. Definitely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is skin 30. It is time to depart. We are over this joint. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Out of here. Mm-mm. But yeah. Jesus. Jesus. This is a fucking stupid ass world we live in. Um, did you watch any of that um, impeachment foolishness that was going on? I don't care for politics much. <laughs> I think this but, is why we're friends. <laughs> um, but also, it was fun to see it on Twitter. Because Twitter oh, makes things so much funnier, yes. even when they're not. Yeah. So it was fun to watch Impeachment Day, like the, waking up and seeing the gifs and the memes. Yeah. It's just like, yo, these people are hilarious. That's fuck. But it gets not much arise out of me because there's more to be done. He ain't gone. It's not like he, bloop, he gone. He ain't gone. He there. And it's still got to go through a whole other thing that... I'm pretty sure it's not going to happen because, Um, and it's funny you said that. I feel like that's what this whole war thing is about. A distraction from the fact that that whole impeachment thing. Let's start that. Not the war. I woke up. Listen, (laughs) I think I went, (laughs) I think I might've took a nap or something. (laughs) I went to sleep and I woke up. I was in world war three. I don't know how it happened. I just know what happened. And I was like, babe, we in world war three. Yeah. (laughs) Like, how? Why? It's a distraction. People don't care about the lives of others. It's oh my power. Gosh. It's, it's always some, some nice bullshit in January. At the top of January, it's always something. Yeah, something nice. Yeah. 
Yeah. To block out some other shit. Yeah. Every time, every January, everything is a distraction. Yo, I'm just glad it wasn't no damn shooting this time. No harm. Like, I'm just glad it wasn't that because I can't take no more of those. But, you know. Yeah, it's. I. So, are we at war? I personally feel like we ain't never been out of war. Right. I think it's just more troops going in because we never pulled fully out of any of these places. Correct. So I feel like it's always a war on Iraq, Pakistan, Iran, all of those Middle Eastern countries. And it's like, dog. I feel like we're just sitting there. We're just just active. We're just not active. We're just sitting there waiting for you to fuck up. Yeah, but... (sighs) So it's just an ongoing I, war, but it just has calmer so, times. This is my thing, right? I have seen, because I follow a lot of, I, I didn't realize I followed some people that were in the military till that shit dropped. And I started seeing people like posting about them being deployed or whatever, whatever. And I was just like, shit. And then people who aren't in the, um aren't active anymore who's saying, thank God I got out when I got out. And I was just like, fuck. And me, you saw my tweet, dog. If the, but I Ooh, saw. Brother. Listen, y'all gonna have to I come find me. I saw somebody who like posted something and was like, "F, you know, mm-hmm. Cheeto man," because <laughs> whatever, whatever the stupid war. Because apparently, whatever they had bombed, mm-hmm. like a few days after, his friend was there and had got deployed there, so he was you know upset. Yeah. And I was just like, "Damn, like that sucks, man. Mm-hmm. Like why?" You know, I just want world peace, but goddamn. Like, yes. I, damn, like, it's, that shit ain't tiring. Like, everybody just stay in your fucking corner. Like, that's you, it. You know, it <laughs> is, but if you're not directly involved in it, of course it's not affecting you. you. Because I feel like at the mm-hmm. end of the day, it's a game to him. None of this shit, to this day, I don't think any of this shit is serious to him. He doesn't, I'm not going to say he doesn't realize the power he has, but I don't think he understands the seriousness of the power that he has. It's more like, ooh, I get to play with this. I can push these buttons and make things happen. I can do this and whatever, whatever. And he's somebody who has always had power and money. So it's nothing really new for him. It's just another achievement that he can say, well, you know, I was president of the United States for God, you know how long, and something else I can check off of my box. Like, you need to get the fuck. There's no real care for it's human enough. life. You need to get the fuck. Yeah, but I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, even with the impeachment shit, like everybody was excited about that. Everybody was talking about, oh yeah, he's been impeached. Da, da, da. And I'm sitting here like, y'all did Listen, not pay attention we to civics are class. Grasping at straws. Okay, people need. Listen, and then what? And I think people. Even after they understood that just because they did this, it wasn't Mm going to be a thing. People still were happy about it because it was like, finally, something. Yeah. Something. Finally. I've been talking about this shit forever. Like, can we get a ball rolling? I think just the ball being rolled even a little bit Mm -hmm. made people happy. Because people sick of this shit. So Yeah, but I mean, you can be sick of it all day long, but ain't shit happen. It's like, we're in an abusive relationship with this man. Well, yeah. So... And he sit there and trolls y'all on the internet. Like, this mm-hmm. nigga is on Twitter all day. You know how they used to say you harder to get a hold of than the president? This nigga is actively on Twitter mm-hmm. all day long just talking shit. Like, you don't have nothing to do. Like, you, your office is like, you literally are a puppet. Like, that's what I'm looking at. You literally are the person that they just say, all right, this is your position. Let me give you this. Just go say this and then come back. Like, nothing about this shows me any real like care for human life government the way this country is ran none of this shit and it's just like i honestly as fucked up as it is i wouldn't even be surprised if he got reelected. i was just about to say it i know he's gonna i i, I would I not don't want it but obviously not, i will not be surprised i would not be surprised either. because even with everything that's going on, there are still people that support him. Listen, 100. these people was talking about if they, if they impeach him, they was going to start a war here. Yeah. Like, on who? On that who? That shit was going to get real cute real quick. On who? <laughs> real quick. Y'all going to find out the mar- minority really, really quick. If y'all want to talk about minorities, Yo. y'all was going to find out real fucking quick. Like, what? <laughs> you know, and I saw it's something. going to be a mess out here. Listen, Yo. I saw something on um, Twitter. Um, I don't know if you saw it. It was a video of Farrakhan talking about um, white guilt. Not Farrakhan. Yeah, I know. I typically don't really subscribe. But the message that I got from it, he was talking about how white people are so afraid of us because they feel like 
we will do to them what they did to us if we ever rise to rise power. Above. Okay. And it's their guilt that's making them afraid of us, not necessarily what we have done, but what they have done. done. Okay. And I was like, wow, I actually agree with something this man said. So that after a while, your man I give bond. I'm afraid to say it. Yeah. <laughs> Turn around and gain bond. bond. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well. Yeah. Because you abuse black say? people for so long, you feel like, what, they're going to make you slaves at the end of the day? Like, Who's to say? You know You what have I'm some that would love to do yeah, it. Yeah, they are definitely some. You have some that are just want to succeed as people and, and rise a, above yes. as a people. And yeah. you're like, all right, yo, whatever, I am a it. human being. <laughs> yeah. And then a lot of us, too, if you realize, don't. Give a Not fuck. A damn thing Just let to me do live. With nobody. Like, we don't care to be mixed in. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy now. Like, uh, like the kids now are just like, uh, we don't. I re- be on Twitter. Mm-hmm. We, I don't know. The younger ones be like, who? White people? What? Nah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Like, we don't, <laughs> we don't want to mix. We yeah. don't want to mingle. It sounds crazy. It's, it look a little rough sometimes. I be like, damn, why are we like this? But we really. Like I was saying earlier, Just don't be with it. living in your own bubble, yeah. because if you don't have to cross paths with and so on and so forth, why should I go out of my way to not necessarily educate myself, but like mix up with you? Like why? For what? You know what I'm saying? Like for what? And I think it was um, Tiffany Haddish or whatever was saying something. No, it wasn't her. It was Miss Pat. Was talking about how for the longest, oh, you gotta listen to her shit. She's I don't know who that wild, is. wild Who's story. That? This <laughs> older black lady, she's a comedian, she has a podcast, but she was talking about basically how she was afraid of white people for a good majority of her life, like to the point where she used to like hold her head down and she wouldn't look them in the eye and all of this, up until she was like grown, like grown, 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 like 20, probably 30 plus, and she talked to white people. She hold her head down and yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, don't look them in, like whatever. And I'm, and because her mother taught her that, you know what I'm saying. And it wasn't until she met her husband or something that he said, like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" Basically, like, "Bitch, what are you doing?" And she's like, "Oh no, you know, I'm afraid of them. I can't." And she was like, "Bitch, they're the same as you. They're just different color. Like, what? Yeah, that like, more than me. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> How so, that more than me? Exactly. Uh-oh. But." Like I said, upbringing, you you are a product of your environment. Right. So not knowing, like, I'm always quick to say ignorance is bliss because it really is. I feel like the more you know about what's going on, especially in the world, the more troubled you are. Because we sit here, we can talk about the presidency and the war and this, that, and the next. And sadly, even though it's all over the world and all over the news and all over the social media, there are people who don't know that this shit is happening in America. And True. they are living their happy-ass life like everything is fucking gravy because and that's some it doesn't... Di- <laughs> I must <bullshit> it. <laughs> it doesn't directly affect them. Yeah. So they think. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of the arguments that I've been seeing after like this declaration of war is that Americans are worried about war, but it's not coming to this soil, you know? Everything that's happening is Americans leaving here to go somewhere but isn't else. isn't this why it's so funny and why everybody's so, like, easy to joke about it because it's not yeah. happening here? Let that yeah. bitch be happening here. People would be so... Little, listen, I'd be on Twitter with the best of them. Laughing, I already Kiki and the said... War, the war jokes... Funny. However, my first let flight that shit be here. To Niggas Jamaica. would not be with nothing. No, ha ha, shit ain't funny no more. They'd be like, yo, what the fuck? Y'all gonna be trying to get y'all gun license or whatever? All the types fuck of shit. Everybody gonna be like, yo, you know where I can go to do this, do this, do this. Where y'all at? People, mm. all type of link ups and yep. hideouts. And all shit. them plugs y'all had from when y'all was gonna finally link up with them. Like, yo, that chopper that you was talking about the other right. day. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get that up off you. <laughs> <laughs> Walmart, y'all sell bullets. <laughs> What's yeah, up? You part. know. So and me, of course. Um, first flight ticket to Jamaica. No, no round trip. Just one way. I'm because fine. I'm not even gonna fuck with it. I'm not even gonna play with you. Is there any kind of them kind of boats? The freight, the freight boats. Listen, cargo put me boats. On them cargo boats. Don't put me on nobody plane at that point because shit ain't yeah. shit ain't what it is. And you ain't about to fuck with me. So let me get a cargo ship mm-hmm. thing. Bring me some supplies. Shake it out and get there. I don't. Listen. I'm cool with that. I take a nap. 
<laughs> nice snap to a water gonna rock you right to sleep. And I'm gonna be Gucci, you know that. <laughs> Listen, yeah, that shit. I'm so over this. Like I'm so over all of this bullshit. And it's like, when will it end? It's like excitement after excitement after excitement. And it's legit January what? Fifteenth? Yeah. Already. Twenty twenty. This is twenty twenty. We are fifteen days in and this is what the fuck is happening. This is twenty twenty right now. Little rapist dropped another video of whatever the fuck is going on, his whatever. We're going to war and like what the fuck? And then we got people talking shit about cartel. Like, what is wrong with y'all? But you know, I just Wait. <laughs> wait. Like Wait. I like how you just smooth that in there. There's just a lot going on. How his you birthday just, just passed. Okay, like, he dropped a little he dropped yeah, little tape and you, you know. Yeah. I, I perused. I didn't do my Listen, my, Shati, what you do? Listen. How <laughs> but he went what, through what a lot. What were you saying? People what? What? Listen. People what? So there's a post, right? A few posts actually circulating about how people are convicted well how you can be a convicted rapist or murderer and still be a recording artist putting out albums now i can understand everybody's entitled to their own opinion but as i love to say bad man people will never prosper there are too many inconsistencies and Yes, you over there with the hand up. I would like to say, is there a specific, are we talking about specific? Everybody knows. Because, okay, let's be real. When did Cartel album drop? Last week? Not so. Two weeks? About last week. So I, it hasn't been, like, I don't think it's been a whole week yet. Like, a few days ago. Something so. Yeah. Shortly thereafter, there was a tweet that went out. Yes. Stating what I just said. So, unless it's just a weird coincidence. Oh, okay. Yeah, so January 10th. Oh, so the same day the tweet went out, Mm -hmm. because it was definitely five days ago that that tweet went out. Mm -hmm. Coincidence. I believe in coincidences sometimes, you know? Maybe it's a coincidence. Yeah, but don't don't be full of shit. Don't be full of shit, though. And (laughs) everything. I I understand people don't want to name drop. But everybody knows what the fuck you're talking about. Like, I would like to say this: bad man people would never prosper. Convicted rapist or pause, murderer. Pause. I don't know that this man raped anyone. It, was, that, it wasn't yeah. even a charge or anything that has been brought up against him. Yeah, unless I'm missing something. Me miss it too. Number two, murder. Now, hmm. too many. You have to believe. That he killed someone first. Who is that? And um, who is Lizzie? enough people know people who kill people. Yeah. But they running around free, but that's okay, right? You still talk to them and that's okay. That's good, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, look, I don't know this man. I just know he is a great artist. Mm-hmm. I don't know about any of the murder stuff. Too much, too much hand yes. it. yeah. It's too messed up. It's messy. You can't. You don't really know what the facts are. So I can't sit here and believe that he killed nobody. And I never seen him been charged with no with, with no rape or nothing like that. So, y'all call don't charge upon people when you never did it. My thing is, is it? Is there a level of like jealousy in there? Probably because like all right. how how no. he can be in here and be killing it and killing you it. have you all there, the space in the I world and boat. you're not. Traveling the world. Is and that what it is? He could do pop. it locked down and you're free as a bird and can make it. I'm just saying, this. like, whatever. I got top my mind. It's okay. At the end of the day, bad mind people will never prosper. Facts. And just because you feel a way about something, don't mean that everybody have to feel the same way about Facts. it. And I understand the whole, oh, people in prison, it should be, you know, retribution, whatever, whatever. They should be rehabilitation etc etc but but isn't he isn't he like not getting all of his like isn't the stuff that he makes money off of not even going to him at this point him can't do nothing with it isn't, isn't like some of it going to like the whoever i don't know i don't know how to regardless of where his money is going yeah don't watch people pocket that's a fact and if you are focused on you yeah and what you are doing mm. you really can't have Yo, time you really for you watch time. what somebody else I do. Facts. So 
Occupy your time with yourself. Yeah, just that's it. Like, worry about you. Like, but I want to know. You really, this is my thing, right? I hate when people sit here and try to put themselves on this platform to say that they are all about peace and love and everybody being happy and whatever, whatever. But then at the same time, you turn around and you try to bring down somebody else because you don't specifically agree with what they're doing. But in the same breath, if that same person or somebody else come and say, oh, I don't like what you're doing because I don't agree with it, then it's an issue because woe is me or whatever the fuck, right? You're doing it? Okay. I do the exact same thing. My thing is, yes, the man is locked up. He's not the first person that's been locked up to put out an album. Exactly. This is not the first album that he's put out either. Exactly. Or mixtape so or anything. So my thing is, is it a direct... Like a direct thing, like you have a problem with this specific artist, or is it artists in general that still make music but and do look all these at things t- while they locked up? I Obviously, it's a direct hit. Because look how much years you have social media. Look how much years things have been happening, and you never said nothing about it. Mm-hmm. But all of a sudden, this one app, what it get too much traction. Like too much people are talking about it. Too much people like when I said that shit drop and internet gone mad. Listen, yep, yo, Twitter, I love Jamaican Twitter. Mm. I live in Jamaican Twitter because they're from everybody talking about how people there, <laughs> your man free, but you're not getting nothing, and this man gone to jail for all long, and I give, you know what I'm saying? Like, this album was so talked about in the little bit of days that it's been out. Mm-hmm. I can understand somebody being bad man about it. Okay, you're looking something them now, boss, whatever. <laughs> Oops, sorry, do better next time. But at the same time, just because you now bust don't mean say for bust Maria's bubble. Like plain and simple. Maybe it's true, yeah, dirty when nobody no one rate you. Some people can't do it. Some people can't do it. But then you sit here and talk about you promoting love and you promoting positivity and good energy and light and yo. Hmm. <laughs> I can't stand people like that. I really can't stand people like that. You sit here and talk about oh light and peace and ooh and all this shit. But your bad mind? Happens a lot. Like, <laughs> happens a lot. A fucking hypocrite. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I really just don't like that type of shit. Mm-hmm. No matter who it is, it don't matter to me. Like, you can't sit here and promote positivity and then turn around and be negative in the same breath. Like, you're mad that this person is succeeding. So, so, okay, but so, so the artist, but. Is it okay that she has certain feelings as a, you know, like an artist compared to, you know what I mean? Like you have to split the two. Some things are like the artist's views versus the human view. Regardless of what it is, Mm -hmm. as a human being, Mm -hmm. okay, they're always going to be like, oh, if it was your family member, da, 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 da. If you pay attention to anything regarding this case, you would see that, there are so many questions that are unanswered. So many unanswered questions. Because, it, um, what's he allowed? Isn't jail for re- rehabilitation? I said that already. Oh, you did? Yes. But, my, see, yeah, come in, come with a fuck, you know. But, <laughs> my thing is, you can be a human being and feel like, okay, as an individual, if this was my family member that was shot and killed or whatever, whatever, I wouldn't want the person that killed him to be succeeding and having privileges to do certain things, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. But y'all realize that in jail, in prison, whatever, they have programs that you can do many different things from engineering to whatever the fuck, masonry, all types of shit across the board and computer and, huh? You know a lot. (laughs) I watch a lot of criminal minds. Uh (laughs) You know what I'm saying? They have a lot of, programs in jail for recreational purposes and you know rehabilitation to help you so that you can readjust into society when you come out of captive <laughs> you know what i'm saying so it's not like a brochure <laughs> i'm, I'm selling here. prison to people fuck out of here brochure <laughs> rehab, <laughs> rehab services but that's what, sound like. that's what they supposedly that's what supposedly that's what prison and jail is supposed to be supposedly supposedly you know, so okay, it's Am jail, I- jail, jail, jail. It's <laughs> jail, like yeah, and that's what they want it to be through and through. Like you supposed to be in there suffering, and you can't make no kind of profit of nothing at the end of the day. But 
Where was this? Were people this upset when Jackie Earl was recording? And I look, yo, you must know something because I thought about him earlier as well. I said somebody who actually went to jail for rape. Mm-hmm. That's what he went to jail for. Period. Mm-hmm. Listen, I remember when he dropped um. We know the what prison walls mm. and all that, and it was a big thing, and he everybody wanted Jack Hero. Jack Hero, he was in. I remember being at um. The thing about it though, they had him on video. I was going to say I remember being at Irie Jamboree mm-hmm. in Queens, and he was on the flyer. Right, boom. So they said we was gonna have him on the teleprompter. Or teleprompter or like, like I was like, y'all fucking lying. <laughs> Shorted. I was like, this man is guilty in jail. For rape. What? Yeah. Not drugs, not gun- rape, though? And we got him on this damn screen? I was like, okay. But I was, you know how that go with the, the culture. You know yeah. Go with the culture. I don't know. Yeah. You saw that video where they were talking about how Popcorn was talking about Bono, Rapa Man, and da 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 and... People was upset because somebody posted it and said no American is showing the same energy and they misunderstood that they're saying it is the distaste for rape <laughs> and preying on little girls and whatever the case is that he's burning out. It's not the energy in the studio. This is true, but also the song, if you know the song, he's yeah. saying y'all killing off the women, so y'all must be gay. Yeah. So <laughs> Yeah, I kind of need to get into them lyrics a little yeah. bit more because they're not really. They didn't pay attention to that part of it. They yeah. did not pay it attention to hype, the back It sounds good because he really talking about rip them on like, yeah. tie them up, like mm-hmm. string they up. But he's also saying, nigga, y'all got to be K because y'all killing all these women and, and yeah. you know, girls. So you're talking about that in a bad light at the same time, which is yeah, also they, they an they issue. Also, yeah. yeah, but that's how they think. Yo, y'all got to be gay. Y'all killing these women. Uh, okay. No. Interesting way to look at it. Yeah. yeah, like it's ignorance, ignorance all the way around. Every which way you look, but it. even that's like what's the name? Potential kid. Which one? Uh, yes, so nice. <sighs> yeah, I feel like we talked he, about yeah, this. Yeah, before him turn a batiman, he yeah, we turn a rap. Yeah, rap- but that's man, crazy. Yeah. Like before you turn into a batiman, you'd rather be a rapist. Yeah, like the fact that you said it, we On, s- we no. sing it. No, no. You said it. Somebody thought this shit was okay and approved it to be published. But can we, but, you know, and it's a little crazy. It's the culture. We sing it. Yeah. Like, I don't sing that part. But you know what's crazy? <laughs> it's now, it's now in these days where I, where I was talking to Babe the other day and I was just like, certain shit, we'd be like, I'm not saying that shit. Yeah. Wait, that don't sound yeah, right. Yeah, because that's we were saying. singing all types of lyrics. When you go back to these songs, you're like, "What the fuck was we saying?" Yeah. That's not okay. He said something about rape, mm-hmm. bitch. Rape. <laughs> now I'm like, oh my god, we can't sing this no more. He's saying rape stuff. Yeah, we. I we was just reckless and didn't give a damn. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I was like I'm, shocked. I was like, oh my god. I'm mean, gonna laugh. The way you said rape just sounds like a raid commercial. Oh, rape. Ray. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, but I was just like, wow. Now we so like, no, absolutely not. Cancel We're not culture. It. Yes, yeah. I, it's good for something. Some things it's just like, y'all too fucking sensitive. Yeah. And then some things it's just like, yep, get it the fuck out of here. Because I was like, rape. You can't say that people what? too sensitive, though. Oh, Every, I can't? No. Everything has to Who be treated that? with care. And you Who? have to be aware of, you know, people's feelings. And You really want me to tell people to suck my dick right now? Do you really? And, Look. you know. N- no. <laughs> there are some, some things that need to go back to, like, a little, you know, back in the day with certain shit. Because it's too sensitive about certain things. Listen. It's too much. These like, kids are so People get, they fucking... What do you call it? ruffle people feathers? Like all you got to say Bent is one little thing. Shade. Everybody, in, everybody in an uproar. Calm the fuck. Down. Relax. Mm-hmm. Everybody too bothered by everything. You ain't got to be bothered by everything. Listen, I talked about it the other day. How Disney had to put disclaimers out for the fucking Disney movies and shit about how you know things weren't the same and did it. And I'm sitting here like, yo, everything. Listen. Real niggas only knew we seen the little fucking castle come up. It's Disney. Listen. Nigga, and then we get into it. What are you talking about? Disclaimers. It's a Disney movie. Yeah, but, you know, misrepresentation of cultures and it, I. Um, you know, a lot of these niggas are soft, okay? As fuck. As fuck. I can't take and it. It's too soft for me. 
I feel like my kids gonna end up getting in trouble in school a lot. My oh. a lot. Look. A whole fucking lot because I'm not sugarcoating shit. Little nigga, this is what it is. Come here. <laughs> because we're not doing this. Nah. Mm-mm. And everybody, you know, say that, oh, you know, as you get older, that nah. Certain you things I'm better not, f- look. Nah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Call me what you want. I listen. <laughs> a lot. A lot of the hand holding shit. A lot of the hand holding shit I'm really not here for. Like I think because I wasn't raised <laughs> so sheltered, I uh-huh. don't feel like you should do that to children because at the end of the day, people like forget. What you mean. Like what you mean? Because I feel like people forget that children are people. Mm-hmm. That they have sense. Mm-hmm. They have. They can understand things. They see things. They mm-hmm. can read. Children can read people just like you as an adult can yes. read people. Thanks. And they know things that you might think they don't. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So that's why people always say, watch what you say around children. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you have to watch what you do, do around, around children, children also because yeah. you can think that, oh, it's just a child. Okay, but that little motherfucker might be manipulating you because this, you think it's just a child. This, I, you know what I'm saying? And me, so I that's, that all, like me, listen, I just be like my extra. I got the extra eye. I be zoomed <laughs> in. I be looking for everything. I be like, I need to see how you talking, how you looking, mm-hmm. what your smile looking like, mm-hmm. what your little eyes looking like. I see you, exactly. and I will remind you that I see you. Yeah. I can see you. Just know that I can see you. You ain't slick. And I'd be quick with it too. Um, like yeah, you can play with me if you want to. Stuff, but sometimes you gotta look. I see you. Yeah. Don't because don't try play at me. the same time. Kids know who they can play with and who they can't play with. That because I've I tell people all day long. I don't babysit nobody kids because I beat children. Like don't leave your children with me <laughs> if your children don't know how to fucking act. I bust ass. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this out the gate, and I don't want nobody to come try to fight me because I'm gonna whoop your ass after I beat your child's ass. Like don't. If you didn't raise your child right, don't leave your child with me. Point blank, period. Like, don't, ain't no question around it because, period. no. On, but also, but also, apparently beating children is abuse. So. Wait, wait. <laughs> what kind of beating are we talking about? Any kind of hitting of your child. Well, you sh- no. I'm, you not saying, should, I'm not saying to slaughter your child. You should no. not hit the child at but all. But I believe, no. If you, ain't hearing, if you ain't hearing me and you being rude <laughs> and you lying and stuff, you're going to take a couple claps to that ass. And that's just what it's going to be. You should be able to, as an adult, control yourself Suck and be dick. able to articulate. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. I don't care. So... <laughs> Articulate yourself uh, okay. so that the child will understand what you're saying and I'm take going heed. To articulate this belt <laughs> on that ass. I don't care. No, if you're not hearing me as parent child and you're really not and you're disrespectful, you're lying, you're all these things, you could take a couple claps to that ass. I do believe because you're obviously not hearing me. I, am I will a not a firm, you. firm believer. And if you don't hear, you will feel, feel. Period. I will not abuse you. Yeah. I will not. Do crazy things. Yeah, I, I don't not. believe in beating children when you're angry. When you're angry. Okay, but do you want to do it when you're calm? It might be, much, be too much fun. You don't <laughs> want to do that either. You might be like, well, this kind of fun, ain't it? Wop, 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 wop. Wop, did it, wop, 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 oh, exactly. wop. Hey, exactly. Have a whole thing going on. You don't want that. But there's a balance. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, like, the, so. the goal is to never, ever beat your kids. Yes, right? obviously. But sometimes you won't have... The, Try to test you, like yeah. you said, and manipulate you. And sometimes you got to be like, hey, yo, mm-hmm. I will beat your ass. Like, mm-hmm. don't even, don't you get it fucked up. I will beat your ass. Yeah. Take it how you want it. I feel like, it's funny you said, I feel like the job that I work with, because I work with people with mental barriers and things like that, and I see things like that in mm-hmm. them. So, like, I have a couple employees that, Everybody's like, oh, no, it's okay. And I'm sitting here like, this motherfucker knows better. I know this motherfucker knows better because this motherfucker don't try me like this. But they're going to try you because you're going to sit here and be like, okay, oh. come. Let me show you and let me hold your hand and nope. watch you while you do it. And I I'm will sitting not. here like, um, I will not. Check that again. I will and not. Miraculously, you get it when I tell you check it again. I will not. Yes. But yes. when other people tell you, check it again, I can't do it. Will you come help me? No, motherfucker, check yes, it again. people know who to play. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And all of a sudden they had handicap. Here, all of a sudden they don't know listen. what's going on. I don't know how to. Oh. You don't know how? Oh, but when it was not. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, don't play with me. <laughs> don't play with me. And I feel like a lot of it, too, is some people like to feel like they're needed. Mm-hmm. So they let themselves get taken advantage in that light. Like, mm-hmm. oh, 
you know, they need my help, so I have to do this. Or they need me to whatever, whatever, so I have to help them through this or guide them through this or whatever the case is. So a lot of the times, like, I see I see that work a lot. I see that work a lot. Like, it's a power struggle type of thing. Like, Like look at you. Oh, boy. But you know what I'm saying? Like, it's... And I'm one of those people, like, people at work might feel like I'm an asshole or whatever, but I'm very cut and dry. You like, I am an asshole. Couldn't be. Go ahead. What, what you been saying all this show? Suck my dick? Okay. But. <laughs> if it's relevant. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't, I don't believe in sugarcoating shit for just to be nice. Like, if. I know that somebody is sensitive or whatever. I have to word things a certain way, way for them. Right. All right, cool. Uh-huh. But just to be like, oh, I want everybody to like me. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. What needs to be done? How do we get it done? What's the fastest way to get it done so we don't have to waste too much time on this? You know what I'm saying? With with anything, really, because anybody who knows me, I'm not. if I don't know you like on a personal level, I'm not really here for the small talk shit. There's a reason why me and you are sitting here. <laughs> There's a reason why me and you are sitting here. Let's get to it. Like, point blank, period. And mm-hmm. to some people, that's not nice. That's rude. That's, you know what I'm saying? And that goes back to what I was saying about, you know, customer service. You see my like, face? you're like, <laughs> you see my face? But see, I know you. So it's different. But that goes back to what I was saying about customer service. Like, some people want to, have a conversation with a complete stranger and feel like they're here to help me enjoy my meal or help me buy or whatever. Like I have a really big thing about people not trying before they ask for help. And <laughs> I need to the, learn those. One of, I need one to of learn the buttons. Those. She want to press the applause yes, button. We're just going to laugh for that. that. But yes, like I have a really big thing about how that. How do you know you can't do it? How do you know that you can't do you did not try it? Have you tried? Uh, and I'm a questioning inquisitive. That's, that's a pet peeve. Though. That's a pet peeve, dog. I am a qui- inquisitive? I will ask you. Like you, you. tried that? Did you pre- Did you try? How do you know? Did you did you look? Did you? And I noticed it a lot with like it's usually guys. Or white woman. But it's usually guys, right, who feel like, I don't know if it's because I'm a woman, why I've experienced this, especially working in customer service and things like that, where a lot of guys will come and be like, oh, where is so-and-so? And I'll be like, oh, and I'm very descriptive. Oh, it's in aisle 13 on the right-hand side, bottom, middle towards it, whatever. I didn't see it. We got about four different types of this shit. Like somebody asked me for mm-hmm. peroxide the other day. We got peroxide in a spray bottle. We got the little bottle. Mm-hmm. We got the big bottle. We got the wipes. You ain't seen no peroxide at all in the aisle? Mm-hmm. Not at all. And I told you exactly where to go find it. Mm-hmm. I told you the aisle, which side of the aisle, what section. It, like, only thing I didn't do was walk you to it do and it. hold your hand and no, say, baby, this is where it is. But that's what he wanted. You know what I'm saying? And that's it's what like. He oh, my gosh. I hate that. <laughs> I hate that so bad. I hate it so bad. It's like, you did you try? Did you? Did you even did you look? You know what I don't like when I see people like at restaurants and be like, um, so what do you guys have to offer? <laughs> Bitch, you, you have a, you have a menu. Listen, people now, like when their little waiter comes to them and be like, well, the chef special is, and the glass, what, what the bottle is. And this is what I don't give a fuck about that. I personally don't need nobody to come read no damn menu to me. I am not an idiot. I can read this thing, and most likely I'm not gonna pick the thing that the chef special is. It's probably fuckery, and I'm not gonna buy ya bakala wine because y'all ain't gonna get me like that. Because I ain't a sucker, so it's not gonna happen. There's something going on. You a little glass, something, Uh you know, something different. But give me a little drinky drink. Nobody to read no damn menu to me. We feel we being bouged though, like with yeah. a bunch of people. Hold up now. If we be in bouged a bunch yeah. of people, if it comes to a little table, listen. And, but if that's it's just what me I'm saying, babe, like but that's my thing. I'm saying if you go on out somewhere, it's a special event and mm-hmm. you want everybody involved and be like, Oh yeah, today we have so and so on the menu, da da da. If it's one of them, you know, sixty dollars, hundred dollars yeah. a plate type of shit, whatever, we dressing up doing the thing, yeah. whatever. But bitch, if I'm going like, to Friday, I want everything. I need I, top, don't need, I need white listen, glove, I need everything. My, my, my little shit. napkin, my you little You see my watch, I get down here, it's supposed to refill. Hey. Ice gone, drop a little bit more cubic. <laughs> what do you mean? 
You know what I'm saying? But if we sit on a Fridays or something, we're just chilling. Your I don't need, Give me my fucking menu and let me order my little... Uh, <laughs> you ask me what they offer. <laughs> listen. <laughs> listen. Listen. Okay? <laughs> and me sit on your look like, say, but you don't want to treat something with appetizer or something and the spinach dip on way name. Like what? You don't know what them have already? Ooh. Oh, we have it's a Tuesday special. You about Friday. <laughs> Listen, no, nah, I'm not. Some playing. people really like to feel like that power over people. Yeah. To feel like they are more than or whatever the case is catered to. Yeah, what are your specials and shit? Yeah, like nigga, they got the board as soon as you walk in. They got the little thing in the middle of the table and you sit on them have the drink special and Bitch, you know? ain't nothing special about Fridays. Like, Fridays the same thing every fucking Friday. Is that Fridays? It's the same listen, thing. Nothing changes. They got look a mix and match, whatever. What, like, spend like a turn to the line. Combos and shit. What? But listen, yeah, like <laughs> some people be doing the absolute most. And I just be like, I'm one of the simpler people in life, <laughs> believe it or not. I just. Listen, I go to a restaurant two, three times. Chances are I'm probably going to eat the I same want. fucking thing all over again. What? You don't have to worry about me. I don't get crazy. I don't get spicy. Listen. Unless somebody like, Cat, try this. Oh, okay, this is kind of mm. nice. This or whatever. I'm probably still not going to do it unless you get it. I'll probably take it out of your place. Exactly. But I'm going to pick the same, probably the same, same drink, shit. the same fucking thing. Yep. Everything's probably gonna be the same. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's me. I am very next yep. thing you go down something on mm, end up sick or not kind of fuck it. Or you day. don't like it, you have yeah. to send it back. Then you, got, then you gotta go to other. I'd rather not. Okay. Listen, Ed, I'm one of those people I don't like sending things back. Me personally. I, oh Jesus. <laughs> me, however. <laughs> Listen, but now I'm not women I like seeing women. Let me just say but this. But still, I don't like it. How is your partner about that are they the same way mm, will he send it back mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay so we in the same so we in the same boat quick okay. in the same boat. this is me they can't put look at salt and pepper part of the time yeah, yeah that's what i'm saying so we in the same so we in the same boat <laughs> me and you we probably like uh, all right me and me, there are starving people in the world listen me, 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 like a fool. Me, and i'm on. like uh, it's really uh you know people have a long day maybe she forget maybe they never realize mm-hmm. i saw that go boom okay however i am with on a woman c- certain no 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 hold no. on hold on certain things no certain, certain things me can't excuse yes. certain things let no, me tell you too hot we might definitely Listen, sister, you can't walk that, up, look a bit to that me, you know? happened recently. But, oh, um, Jesus. But same time, legit you know, if, as long as it's not like ice cold in the middle, bitch, I'm, no. I'm, you know? Like, let's say I ordered sweet potato fries and I got regular fries. I never want that. But me and them, it's the same way. Right. Me, give me, give me, me a little ketchup on barbecue sauce. My thing me is, me uh, all right, I get it. Like, I don't got time for all of that. Yes. However, I'm with a woman that is like, um, I'm paying no. for it. <laughs> She's like, look, she ordered sweet potato fries and not regular fries so what's or up you got this wrong i'm glad to have her in my life however I'm because sure. you know to get my money's worth and stop letting yes. people just slide yeah or whatever but i have my moments because me at the same time mm-hmm. if babe says oh i didn't really want to i'm like you want me to mm-hmm. you want me to call them you you good or mm-hmm. what's up because mm-hmm. me personally i'll stomach it for me but if you're not not good, doing it right um ma'am waitress hello yeah um this isn't what we ordered all right can we please yeah thanks. she'd be quick to be like Listen, no that ain't it no me being adventurous the other day and decided i didn't like myself and wanted something quick i went to burger king right and i got a chicken sandwich it's just a bitch anytime you say something about burger this one screw up anyways so i decided i wanted to get what is it chicken caesar you, sandwich me, or well, some well, fuckery well, 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 give me a little story again you went to burger king if you had to chicken get a sandwich. chicken sandwich <laughs> yeah <laughs> kind of have a chicken caesar or something i just and want you to understand you i went to burger king <laughs> for the chicken sandwich okay <laughs> go ahead anyways right and my spirit was like, you can go home and make this yourself, and it would be so much more delicious. This is what I was going to say to you. Because I can cook. Cook off, so I'll cook off some chicken real quick and like. What? Yeah. And just bread it up on, you know, do me like a something, something. <sighs> some ago, I'm going to tell them don't if like there's it. mayonnaise, I don't want any mayonnaise on the sandwich. Don't like yourself, Rasta. Right? Like I said yourself. this. I, I hated myself that day. I don't know what the fuck I was going through. Mm-mm. So, I'm going to go and make it something. 
me open up the sandwich, you know, come say, you know, let me check to make sure they didn't fuck my shit up. Mm. Now, in the picture, right, you see bread, Caesar dressing, chicken, lettuce, tomato, bacon, and some, like, the shredded Parmesan cheese, mm-hmm. like the low whatever, mm-hmm. whatever, and more Caesar dressing. I said, all right, bam, we're good. So, let me get the sandwich now, and it's bread, lettuce, Caesar dressing. I'm saying, but wait. It don't look. Oh, it's supposed to. What to my cheese? I'm a beer can. What? So I'm saying, wait there. I seven something for this piece of bread and chicken. So more, more everything went in the picture. Come in like so truly, lady, come truly in. snack wrap. <laughs> come in and say, remember Trudy? <laughs> Big up Trudy. <laughs> I said, all right. So lady come out. I said, oh no, sorry, sorry. I'll go make it. I said, all right, cool. She make it. I said, just make sure there's no mayonnaise. All right. Get back the sandwich again. And this time, there's literally no cheese. Like, basically the same sandwich, but she added bacon. I'm sitting here like, how you forget? <sighs> what? Okay, so with that. That there's si- no sauce. With that situation, though? So why, but why it, why it took so long to, to get this? But make it a third sandwich now. I'm going to send that back as it never writes again. Nah, nah. And That's at this point. Everything is on a sandwich, but it was yellow American cheese instead of the Parmesan. And I was like, bruh, <sighs> then is when I would be like, yo, you know what? I, just, I was just like, let me just go home. I'd be like, let me get, come on, let me get this money. Man. Y'all, y'all <laughs> playing just, with me. Y'all really playing with me. And I don't, I'm not one of those people that like, I'm going to call corporate. I don't got time for that. Not me. I'm not one of those people. But that day I was like, I'm going to call. I didn't, I didn't. Because, bitch, I really don't have time. But it was in my... Sp- oh, Jesus Christ. It was really in my spirit to call a corporate. Because I was like, what the fuck? You gave me three of the wrong fucking sandwiches? Y'all could have just looked at the picture and saw what was in the picture and slapped the shit together and be done with it. Like, really? Really? And I'm one of those people, y'all can call me whatever y'all want. My customer service... Is immaculate. Like y'all paying me to talk to people? Oh, bitch! I'm gonna be motherfucking smiling. I'm hi, hello, good evening, good morning. Mm-hmm. I am a chirpy little bitch when you see me at work. Mm-hmm. But if y'all don't like y'all jobs, my nigga, go work in like fucking data entry or some shit where you ain't gotta talk to human beings. Like, mm-hmm. don't expose people to fucking lackluster service in customer service. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I am really big on that, but. I also understand people have bad days, but dog, like, what? Not three times. Rest at that point, I'd have been like, yo, let me just get me I was, money. Can I have my is, money? Like, run me my money. I was like, obviously, yo, you at tripping. this point, the Lord did not want me to have the sandwich. I already know, man. I was like, I don't know if you smoked before you came in here today, but um, mm. <laughs> this, what you're doing is stupid. Like, this is the third sandwich that you gave me. Run me my money, please. Yeah. I think if I was in there, because I did a drive through I think if I was in the restaurant, I'd have been like, all right, y'all fucking up. Like, um, never mind. Just... But I was already in the car. I was like, you know, I'm just going to go home. I oh, just, you just drive through? Yeah. I was like, hell oh. nah. And we drove around the first hell. time. And we were sitting outside. And they, and I was just like, are you? Hell nah. Like, I was so confused. Like, how did, what? And the lady was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Let me go fix it for you. And just wrong. Wrong. So you basically want a chicken sandwich with no mayo. Yeah, but there was no, yeah. It was a chicken Caesar sandwich. Okay. Chicken Caesar sandwich with no mayo. Mm-hmm. So basically everything on it but the mayo. Yes. What is so hard about that? Oh, hell. Me no no. Me no no. Yeah, that would have made me even matter. I, like, make it the way you would regularly make it. Just don't put no mayo on that bitch. Like, it, yeah. Yeah, I'd have been, yeah. I'd have been <laughs> little thing lit. I'd have been like, yo, are y'all for real? <laughs> I'm like, y'all dead ass? I don't want to cuss nobody out because I don't want no spit in my food. But I was just like... Y'all really asking for it right now. Like, y'all really... There's no effort at this point. Bar's low. Very. Very. And, like, working with people, I'd be like, dog, some of y'all really don't have no ambition. No, Yeah, a long time. No ambition, no look of nothing. And the bare minimum is what most people strive for. The bare minimum. And... I wasn't raised like that. So I just, I don't, I don't really, I can't be comfortable with myself given the bare minimum. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't sit here and be like, I can do better and just be like, 
I'm just gonna fluff it. Not at work. Cause nigga, Especially we live not at work. We live in Florida. It's an at will state. They could fire you for nothing. Yeah, y'all niggas is wild out here. Rent have to pay. It's like the fucking wild wild west out this bitch. Bills have to pay. Be like, I don't like what you got on today. You gotta go. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> nigga, yeah. your personality it doesn't fit in with our. Excuse yeah. me. <laughs> Yeah. We don't like your mood this evening, so you can go. Probably yeah. had you work half the day, and then tell you you could get the fuck. <laughs> yeah, Florida said <laughs> I'm not even going to hold you. Like, honestly, I done heard some reasons for people to get sick. And I'm like, what, huh? You just sent a motherfucker home because they showed up late to work? So I came all the way to this motherfucker. Y'all couldn't just call me and say, hey, you That's already you late. Don't the fuck pull out. up. That's why you should have called the fuck out. Stop <laughs> fucking around. Real niggas call out. I ain't got time for it. I'm not even about to play with you on no late shit. Cause then you gonna have you gonna want to talk to me and fuck with me. No, I'm off completely. I'll see you tomorrow on time. Make sure you call before your shift's supposed to start too. Cause motherfuckers be calling like an hour and a half after they're supposed to be at work. Like, um, I'm not gonna make it, bitch. You thought? Listen to um, me. Listen to me. <laughs> Look, sometimes listen shit does you. happen. Listen Don't, to you. Listen no, to you. listen, listen. Sometimes you'll be like, yo, I'm not going to go, right? Mm-hmm. And then you decide, no, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. And then you start, and then it kind of, you got to change, like, fuck, fuck, I don't want to go anymore. But an I mean, hour whatever. and a half. Sometimes after. you have, it's, sometimes you deciding if that mental day is enough to take the day off. You sometimes it be like that. An hour and a half after. You, you're supposed sometimes to be at work. You, but sometimes you have it a mental day. You're like, you, you think that you can handle it. You get in there, you work. You know what I'm saying? You late. You've been crying, doing whatever, shit happening. You were Okay, put it right? like this. Let me put this in perspective. At my job, you don't have to call. You can send a text message to your supervisors. Same. And that's acceptable. Same. So you can't just say, not coming in. Well, let's be. Can't did, make it. Did I go to sleep? Maybe I was taking a nap. <laughs> Maybe I just woke up. Maybe I was trying to take the little nap to decide if I wasn't going in. And a nap kind of ran long. So this is why I call an old lady. Yeah, I be setting alarms. I don't know. See me? Yeah, exactly. But see, people I like just, them, they could get the fuck. It's people when you know something, you know something. You know you gotta have you a call out alarm. I need this alarm to go off at this time because I need to call out with mm-hmm. this amount of time to allow me for one. Mm-hmm. If they say thirty minutes, an hour, hour and a half, two hours, I, I know I need to call out on times because I'm not about to be penalized for it. And people see, don't remember me. I am one of those people who I will, but see a lot more in Dana, but I, <laughs> I want to people like people say I'm crazy with my work ethic. I be setting up like I plan ahead. I'm not coming to work today. <laughs> I'm not coming to work today. Um, yes, I'm going to call out from about six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I'm supposed to be to work at eight. I hope my manager is not listening to this episode and just be like, yeah, um, usually it ain't happening yeah, today, like, homie. Usually with me, like, if middle man call out, like, I'll know either the day before or sometimes I'll know, like, yeah, who I was before, or I won't feel well the morning. Mm-hmm. And so it depends, but my thing is also, I can just text my boss and be like, you ain't going in. Yeah, people, yeah, people be tripping. Some people be wild, wild. You ever did a no call, no show to a job that you wanted to keep? Hell yeah, for real. You just don't show wait, up, wait, and don't no, call, no call. Don't, don't text, show. don't I know, call. I know what it is, but I'm trying to think. To a job that she was planning to go to the next day. I don't know. I I didn't do a no call, no, no show. I did a late ass call, no <laughs> show. I've done that. So that situation that mm-hmm. you whatever, I've done it. I've called late, two hours, two, three hours late. So you, you never fi- feel like they figured that you wasn't coming already? Um, I mean, You know, I was at that age where I didn't give a damn. You How kinda, old is that? You got to Excuse me, that I didn't give a damn. I didn't say that that they're supposed to give a damn. I just know I didn't give a damn at the time. Yeah, like, and I went there like two hours late or called in two hours late, like, yo, I'm not coming in. <laughs> what? Like, shut up. That, me personally, I, I just, didn't like that. I didn't like that punk ass job no way. So, that's just <laughs> exactly. That, see, that's just how that went. And that's how I feel about it. Like, I feel like if you don't give a fuck about the job, it's kind of like, oh, shit, fuck y'all. If y'all need me, y'all go. Take this shit and go about your business. But if you don't, then, hey, whatever. Right. So, mm, whatever. That's, eh, eh. 
I don't know. I just be, I be planning that shit ahead of time. Cause I'd be like, y'all ain't finna penalize me because I, you know, and I said, Oh, that's probably one of the things that would be a resolution. I said to myself that I will take mental days. Yes. This year. Yes. Yes. I will take mental days this year. We because agree. You need to take them. Yeah, I do. Because I be doing the absolute most. Like, okay, we're supposed to go to Jamaica end of this month, right? I got a whole week and a half off from my part-time job. Bitch, who telling them I ain't going nowhere no more? <laughs> you can suck this dick. You can suck this whole entire dick. I am, I'm going to be at the house. I'm going to be chilling. I'm going to have the weekends. Off. You, what I'm you doing? I'm going to take my black ass to work. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, my full-time job, I'm going well, to work. work you know? But the other one, yeah, yeah, I yeah I can you deserve that. Suck it. And I saw that he granted the shit. My name well, ain't even on honey, the schedule. I take, I take mental days. You got me fucked up. Yeah, but see, I'm always one of those people, like, and for the longest, everybody I was like, you better take care of you because once you drop down, oh, she was such a good employee. Yeah. That's, and that's it. it. And that's it. And it's moving on to the next. So yeah. we need somebody to fill in her spot. I honestly. Right. Take you a day. Nobody going to keep I you. I don't take know. Take a few days. You work for that shit. Exactly. Because I ended last year with, I think, like 40 something sick hours. And I was like, motherfucker, you know what? <laughs> I be at work sick. Same way. Dick I too. know. I don't know what the fuck wrong with you. This know. is where you I and I differ, bitch. <laughs> Good. Hello, not coming in, bitch. Text message. <laughs> Sorry, voice note. Don't matter. Not coming in. I won't be there. See you tomorrow. See you next week. It don't matter. <laughs> she, you got to get fucked up. <laughs> I know that one because I know you asked me quick to be like, hey, it ain't happening today. At all. Like, Sorry, I wake chief. up. I'm like, listen, wake up, little head. Uh, uh, uh. Guess what, bitch? We ain't going today. <laughs> Bitch that a headache. <laughs> what am I gonna do? No. So what? Meanwhile, like, I be in the bathroom popping two pills, trying to drink some coconut water and meditate for a little bit. Like, I'm gonna be okay. It's gonna be all right. Do you see what we could have ignored if we would have just stayed home in our bed and, <laughs> and medicated and then rested up? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Then you are working miserable now. Mm-hmm. Probably really not with- giving off your best customer service. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, hold on. My full time job, I don't deal with customers one-on-one so that's a plus for them anybody could get it. Huh? yeah anybody could get it anybody could get whoop hey and i'd be quick to put Guess in my what? headphones not coming in <laughs> not, not up group ain't doing uh no won't be there yes so T- i t- tomorrow yes <laughs> yeah and if i don't feel better i'll let you know well that's my favorite one i will keep you updated <laughs> i will keep you updated i will let you know the the play-by-play as it is happening <laughs> okay i know i'm not coming today i'll let you know if tomorrow's gonna be the same <laughs> the hell yo but then ask some of the people like i've been trying to figure out how these people still have jobs at my job because every day we're, we have a group chat for like all the employees they send a message to all the supervisors every single fucking day somebody on the call and the call out sick call and i'm looking at the call and i said wait there this person call up on the 15th at every blood clot month okay um you have to go down on social security to go pick up your money. What? Mm. Like, why you? But, why, every, but, 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 okay. My thing is, maybe the 15th is her, the person's personal sick day. Like, I that's their sick But day. no, I can respect that. Say you have a doctor's appointment then and schedule off the But something. why mama it's, have to tell you anything? Because you're calling out anyway. Well, I'm calling out sick. So it's sick. So I'm sick. Even if I'm not sick, I'm sick. Well, the way my job does it, you get paid for sick time if it's a doctor's appointment. Well, listen, so, in that case, if you do it like that, mama's an ass. Yes, so that's a problem. whole ass. But on the, I'm sick. Miss, I'm sick. Miss sick. I'm on sick. the 15th of every month, you just sick. So. Like a dog. <laughs> sick. Like, don't check for me as, four, as 14. It's 11, 59, 12, the 15th. Miss sick. <laughs> kufum, kufum. Exactly. <laughs> Tripping. But yeah, and I just be sitting here like, yo, niggas is getting away with murder. Why the fuck am I so loyal to this shit? You know what? 2020, New Year, yeah. new me, bitch. Look, look at what he will do for you. Growth. <laughs> I am happy for you. Shit. I know a lot of people will be. Because they'll be like, Jenny, I'm tired of you and this bullshit. Damn people, girl. You get are... you a damn day. Like, what the? the no, Listen. at least one a month. Oh, yeah. Already, oh, you bet your ass one a month from me. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Am I part-time? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We having at least a Saturday or Sunday off every month. Oh, like, yeah. We, who? Me. Because you know I work seven days Listen, a fucking because week. Because I've never seen this, I have to I have to see it to believe I already it. have two this month. What do you mean? The fuck? <laughs> 
I don't think so. I gave me a player. No, sir. Mm-mm. I, we, I don't set unrealistic goals. I do not. I am sorry. I do not set unrealistic goals. I don't set myself up for failure. So I already said it. I, like I think monthly, I have. Do you do like monthly goals? I think I have. No. It's just the same something right true. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, I am doing this and this is it. Because as far as monthly goals, I'm, the only thing I can say is I, I, I ain't put it in so much. I need to lose weight. Uh-huh. <laughs> but what? I need to drop two pound, but you know, um, yeah, that's that's. You need to shave off the. That's a yeah, shave off the excess. All right. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I've been trying. So yeah, I've been going the, to the gym the and dumpling you know. festival vibes. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. trying to get back to my festival vibes. Heard you trying. What are you trying to lose like? Just you know, just a middle section, look a belly need for go on about in business still. You know? Uh, just go on. Everything else can go on. Like you know, have shape and all them stuff. You know, look nice and you know, may I write my shape good and things. So just the belly need for go on still. Yeah. I'd learn that. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's funny, I always say this. I don't work out the place that needs working out. Because I hate working it out. I hate doing sit ups. What I and say, I'm I saying I'm doing them ab crunch. I'm sitting. Yes, I, I hate doing crunch business. My titties too big for that shit. Fuck that. I kind of. I like, be doing you know what I like about it, but I think that uh, I think I'm twisted in life, and oh, there's a reason why I like the little machine because a little machine. You know how it all you up <laughs> and like bend you up. It be like mm-hmm. so kind of like it kind of feels good. Like you know your body's kind of like crunch, and then like when you come back out, it's like mm-hmm. like that. So it feels good to me. Plus, I'm just crazy. I don't know if I, I don't want nobody to <laughs> ball, you up. ball me up or nothing, but it feels, yeah, you feel it. You feel it. I like doing reverse crunches. Like when you do the leg lift, like the, I know, I know, I know. Don't judge me. It's a judgment free zone. It's supposed to be a safe space. So them say. <laughs> what are friends for, guys? Safe space is all 2020. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yo, have we been to a party since the year started? Oh, We're not going to wait for the year to start. Am I tripping? Well, um, we haven't been to a party. We. No, from the year start, we're not gonna party. No, right? No, from no Christmas we Eve. Yeah, we're not gonna party from year start. Have not been to wow. anything in this twenty twenty year. Kuya, that's new. It is. That's it new. is. That's new because we at least took on one. Yeah, at least bringing the year somewhere or some for Chris. Um, I didn't want to do like anything like party to bring in this year though. I don't know. Yeah, I wasn't. Usually I'm like, oh yeah, we should go, whatever, whatever. Nah, bring in New but Year's, New Year's was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm. <laughs> New Year's oh, was she- great. Like bringing in the year was fantastic. Like it felt great. Yeah. Like there was like so much going. I like I didn't even know when twelve o'clock came in because I, we were occupied. Uh huh. And then. I was like, oh, shit. We were like, oh, shit. It's 12, <laughs> da, da, da. Oh, shit. You know, like, babe, happy new year. Oh, my God, happy mm-hmm. new year type shit. And then, you know. I was asleep. <laughs> oh, no. And I, I, I left you a voice note. Yes, I had you to leave did. you a voice note. But <laughs> I, we, <laughs> we, yeah, it was a really good <laughs> New Year's <laughs> and anniversary situation. It was dope. Yeah, it was dope. I was <laughs> knocked the fuck. I think I woke up at, like, 2 a.m. I was like, oh, shit. And then I just couldn't go back to sleep. So Bitch, I, I think drinking. I was. Oh, we were up to like six. We were up like to like six. Stone's ginger wine. We were up till six a.m. Yeah, I think I stayed up from two o'clock till like sometime in the afternoon. Eating what at five twenty a.m. macaroni? But see a lot. Yeah, we was yo macaroni. We we was five o'clock in the morning. We was up. <laughs> okay, we was up. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. New, Year, it, New Year's felt good though when it came in. I'll say that. That's good. I. I'll, do you feel like how you start the year is how you finish it? Yeah, or like carries out like the mood for the year? Um, I guess it it depends on the person, the situations, mm-hmm. and what it is. Because you could start the year like at a low, 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 and then by the end of the year, it's like, yo, yeah, I can't fucking believe yeah. all the shit. Like, look at shit now, or start a project, or yeah. work on something. You like, yo, I never thought it was gonna be like this. Yeah, 
You ever did a vision board? I have not, but I've seen people do like vision board parties with like their yeah. friends, and I think it's cool. I would think I I kind of want somebody to tell me what what do I need to put on the board? Like what? I think it's more so like goals, like things that you want to achieve. Kind of just like goals, yeah. So just like things you magazines want, and just cut out, yeah, clippings just and cut just, out. Like it's, I'm down. I, I, I would do it, but do like a group, like a friend thing, like mm-hmm. whatever. But get some. Stuff, like drinks and some, some <laughs> stuff. And, um, yeah, and everybody sit out with a little board and magazine. I'm down with that. It seems cool to me. Yeah. I'd make one. Yeah. I've never done it. I've I've been seeing it for a long time. Years and years. And mm-hmm. I've always been like, eh, I've seen people yeah, be like, cool. oh, yeah, I have another one. I finished my other one. I'm like, well, what? What? what, what? You finished? <laughs> I'm glad. Like, I'd, I'd, I'd be like, oh, that's what's up. Yeah. I I don't know. Like, like I was saying about, like, the resolution thing like i've never done the vision board thing but i've had a personal bucket list of things that i've Mm -hmm. wanted to do with no set time frame Mm -hmm. but it's just like before i die i want to do Do this this. or like try Mm -hmm. this or something so like um let's just say like last year i checked off a few things like i went skydiving that's something that i've Mm -hmm. always always said i wanted to do like bungee jumping was another one but i'm always afraid like if the rope pops but what if the parachute doesn't open? But <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that was one thing. I want to say do it with water under you. Yes, that is always what I say. Like if I'm doing it, I don't want to like look at concrete like a lake or a river under you. Yeah, so because it a bit easier. Because even if it's snap, yeah, I mean it's still gonna suck. But <laughs> you better falling into water is better than falling onto concrete on the yeah. ground. I think because right? I feel like if anything, from depending on how you fall, yes, still could feel like it. Yeah. But that's why that's why I did the position. You go in a diving position and you know break water mm-hmm. and hopefully make can't swim same way so it don't make no difference. Yeah, but if you feel that bitch snap, you know, yeah, <laughs> bloop, 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 bitch. <laughs> <laughs> At least you can like you know brace yourself for water. Grung you, the amount of bracing where you don't now got change that. So yeah, and um, died the back of my hair. That was huge for me because people are like, oh whatever, whatever. This I don't know if I ever told you about this old man. This is old Jamaican man that I met like few years ago when I was taking a bus to work Mm -hmm. and comes to find out that he lives by my part-time job. Mm -hmm. So I see him even when I stop taking a bus, he comes in or whatever. He's like, oh, that's my baby. He's older Jamaican, probably like 60 something years old. Right. Mm -hmm. But I think he does construction work or something. Sweet guy, whatever, whatever. Every time he comes, oh, how you doing? Whatever. And he's one of those like guys that, you know, like them older Jamaican men that just take care of their wife. Mm -hmm. Like he's one of those, he come in and he be singing and good Christian man. He talk about his children, his wife and whatever, whatever. (laughs) So he, um, he came in my store the other day. He said, oh my God, my baby, I haven't seen you since before Christmas. I'm like, yeah, how you doing? Whatever, whatever. And then something happened and I went somewhere. Yeah. I come back and he said, Oh my God! Why you do that to your hair? Why you go change your hair? And I'm sitting here like, what Jesus Christ, that so funny. Daddy, mm-hmm. Daddy, mm-hmm. are you name? Yeah, but see, I'm gonna even know say, huh? And he was like, like he was genuinely upset, mm-hmm. and I was like, you know, it's funny. Only the old people don't like it. Mm-hmm. He said, No, man. You know why how you gonna do that? And I was just like, dog. You I really cannot stand old Jamaican. <laughs> you know how they are, and they make you feel like real bad, like you their grandchild and Dog. shit. Like, chill out. Honestly, bro. like some people walk in, he's like, "Oh, this is my baby." And they're like, "Oh my god, that's your grandfather." I said, mm. "My association, no disrespect." <laughs> not, go- I don't know this nigga in real life, but you know what I'm saying? Like, you not mm, sorry, no disrespect or nothing. But you know, he was like genuinely like i can see that he was really bothered by the fact that me as an adult but you don't know from jack mm-hmm. go do something to my hair that's <laughs> different and i was like how you feel so empowered to be affected by this they always do like it's like you they feel like you date like extended grandkids yeah. or yeah and when I say he don't know me from nobody, he don't know nobody in my family. Like we literally met at the bus stop. I don't even remember how he. Oh, I think I was, I was on the phone with some fucking Jamaican, and he heard me speaking patois, and we had been seeing each other heard like you every time. Patois? Yeah, the patois, and <laughs> <laughs> you know he was just like, oh, me never know say you're Jamaican, and from Jesus, then on, they, oh, from then on, I said, love Jesus, a good. Oh, me never know. And I was like, huh? 
Jamaica, what? What's that? I mean, that's when I quick to be like, I what? <laughs> Jamaican? No. No, Where's no. that again? I'd be like, no, no, that's that's over there by Africa, ain't it? <laughs> Don't play with me. Don't try to create Yo, a conversation with me. Catch I will be- me on a good day, boy. I am boo boo the fucking I'm fool. fool. I'm like, like where? I don't. I don't know what that is. Next, head back to, on. Yo, I love when people, especially young people, be like, "Oh, I, are chain. you Jamaican? Oh, see you." My chain be getting me pulled out. Well, I can't say that. Like, oh, I see Jamaica. a chain. Someone will say, like, "No, somebody no, went well, to Jamaica and got and it, brought it back me. for me." It depends. Like, it depends on who I'm talking to. Uh-huh. I'll be like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever." And of course, oh, where well, I come from, you know that whole, that whole. Mess. I hate this conversation because I say. Kingston because I really I grew up in Kingston I was born in St. Andrew but people be like oh okay and I'll be like whatever but then I say I grew up in Portland and they be like oh and I'll be like oh, motherfucker get away from me <laughs> like yeah so I just kill it one time Kingston oh all right conversation done right that's so uh-huh. so you be like oh everybody come from Kingston yep you are absolutely, absolutely correct right. yep you mm-hmm. are mm-hmm. me too yeah <laughs> like Go on by business now and done. Like, I don't know. But anyways, um, I feel like there's something else I wanted to talk about, but I can't remember at this point. We can't remember. I know. Lately, my memory has gone to shit. No, I'm too. And old age. Mm. But <clears throat> I wonder if those memory pills really work. Because it be having, like, the vitamins for, like, enhance. To bring. No, I'm I'm not going to take them. I just what? wonder if they actually work. It's sixty something dollar for the buckle, so what I would do you hope so. You you sometimes wait what? I think it's called Prevagen or something like that. It you know the name for, too. I work at a pharmacy. This is true, but I'm saying and they steep it all the time, so we have it behind the register, so I know the name. <laughs> yeah, yo, they teeth it. What miss said them teeth? Bo- it's for bo- memory. Cause that's sixty something dollar. Them teeth th- boosters. You okay, know them so teeth. Yes, I, I know what they do. Um. <laughs> Listen, I don't know none. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, my thing is so they steal them, they them teeth you take, you, take you pop them, and your memory gets better. Like what the fuck? Is it's going supposed on? to. I mean, no, no. I think it's supposed to just help with brain health, no, I guess, okay. or something. No, I'm I okay. Don't. I don't like taking pills to I'm begin okay. with. It's so. not. It's not an. It's not unnatural. Like yeah. for someone to forget something or for your memory to be. Tri- I'm okay. Yeah. No. I don't forget crazy things. Like, I know how to put on my shirt and my pants. <laughs> and I know my name. Okay? I know my birthday. I know important shit. I know my social. Bitch, I'm okay for right now. <laughs> I don't... You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I start walking out the room and forgetting shit, then maybe I I'm, I'm have an issue, but... Yeah. Memory pills? Yeah. That's the wave? And they be stealing them shits like fucking oh, air, boy. I I've never heard that. Do they do a... Are they? Can you do other things with them? I don't think so because in a vitamin aisle, it's not like. Can you crush them? Probably. Uh, listen, criminals are I'm creative. Gonna, I'm gonna leave that where I leave it. At. Criminals, I have learned, are very, very, very creative. Very creative, and I feel like with the amount of brain power they use to commit crimes, they could be doing shit, doing positive shit, owning businesses, creating bruh, shit. All type could of be millionaires rage. legitimately. Yeah. Yeah. Legitimate billionaires. You hate to see it. You it's do. just wild to me. Like y'all gotta keep up these fronts and these lies and all this. It's just wild to me. Just, just wild because. But not the time, not the energy. Because I'm afraid of prison. <laughs> <laughs> that part. Enough people, no friend for none. So ain't got nothing to lose. Anyways, um, it is late and I'm about to fall asleep on you hoes. No, no, I'm asleep on me. So. <laughs> Yeah, we it's are like going when to. I have enough for set to win a still. It's like yeah, it's, it's been, been a while. while. It's been a while. It's been all right. They're not gonna always this long. Yeah, and don't try to combine me up for it for be so long, cause not, y'all are definitely alone on that. Um, for those who have been keeping up, I have done so much better. The YouTube is probably like three episodes out. Yeah, from you're being up be proud today. of her like I am. She's been busting ass. Yeah, she like had it. <laughs> Lord. So catch us on the YouTube. Um, I played with the idea of doing video for this, but you know, mm, yeah, no, last minute decisions and all these things. So Our next time, YouTube, subscribe to that. Turn on your notifications. There will be YouTube exclusive videos that are dropping. They wouldn't be released on all these other platforms for podcasting. So 
to catch up on everything, it should be YouTube. Um, you can listen to the podcast on all the other platforms for podcasting, whether it's SoundCloud, iTunes, Apple Music, whatever, whatever. All the things. You know where they are. All social media outlets, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Pointless Talks. Follow, like, subscribe, share, and, you know, give us five stars. Tell us nice things. If you like us, rate us, and keep on about my feelings, them two in a self. Um, them sugar underscore, and what's my Twitter? Lion Young B. She never remembers her Lion, own Twitter. That's it, and that's fine. Lion Young B. I mean, it's just what it is. Me just I tell no how feel like me. Nobody gonna link me and send me nothing because y'all already know I don't. don't know yeah. Me. Nah. Send and it to pointless. No. Look. Okay. In regards to sending me shit, listen. <laughs> some of y'all be wild as fuck in the DMs, <laughs> and only because it is the podcast platform. Where I don't tell y'all where to get off. But keep in mind. My mouth is not a nice thing, okay? Mm-hmm. Please don't come to me with the bullshit. Because y'all really be in my inbox on some fuckery. Like, mm-hmm. don't do it this year. Mm-hmm. Please. May I tell them the from? That's no. That's a resolution. Yeah, don't, don't, don't bring me the fuckery. All right? Just take time and walk good. Make sure to do all of the nice and positive things. Facts. Bad mind people will never prosper. Make so, a vision board, nigga. All of that, yeah. you know? So, yeah, just like... Every other episode, whether you got here on purpose or by fate, thank you again for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. Be easy. All right, check me out, check me out. Can you talk about that in a minute? Go ahead. Yes. So I want to do like a little background in the corner, right? It's going to be yellow. Okay. Right? And I want to put like a bar. Okay. So I'm going to be behind the bar. You wanna and do, you're you going to be my bartender. Yes, I'm making you drinks while we talk. <laughs> yes. But it's going to be like a cute little, you know, like. You that's probably gonna be like <laughs> YouTube exclusives. That's you know what remind me of Loki. Hmm. You remember that show? Damn, it's throwback though. Dinner at a movie. You remember Dinner at a movie? Yeah. It sounds familiar, but am I the remember only person that? that's never? I don't know if that's the name. But it wasn't like TNT or TBS. Yeah. One of them things. Dinner in a movie. Mm-hmm. It was like in between the movie yeah. play. Yes. They would be making drinks yes. and they would yeah. like that. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah.